Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Sunday to you. How are you doing? Is the AV working? Yes, it is. Good, good, good. Uh, we continue where we left off last night where the sun is setting. I think we've done everything we meant to do. Yeah. Uh, we've got the <coughs> we've got the uh, locos in the repair yet center because that one's a bit damaged because puppy decided to reverse into a train, so that tender's a bit damaged. And that one's damaged because we tried to live up to our name. If I remember, let me just remind you of our name. So anyway, where is he? There he is. That is what pups looks like in the morning. Look at that angry. You know what I mean? Like angry. Attitude. That's what he's like. Good morning. Kieran, that's a very kind donation, sir. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. And thank you. Good morning to you. Unexpected? Very welcome. Giddy Raccoon, thank you for 77. Dave K, thank you for eight months. Thank you, Kieran. Hope you're well. Oh. Uh, Puppy has just had a gender change, apparently. He is now female. That's a little worrying. King Killer, thank you for 32 months. You got scared when I said your name? Why? What, what are you guilty of, eh, Giddy? What, is something you want to tell us about? Did I just assume his gender? I did. <laughs> I did. He's now Miss Puppy. He's no longer Mr. Puppy. He's now Miss Puppy. Sorry, she is now Miss Puppy. Giacomo, thank you for 29 months. <clears throat> Why don't we find out what's going on? You got an identity crisis going on? Yeah, well, I've, I, I've, I'm an idiot, and I forgot I could just press number two and actually look at myself and do my appearance, but it's on the stream, so I thought that'd be easier. Mm. <laughs> so are you Miss Puppy or Mr. Puppy, just to Mr. clarify? Mr. Puppy. I don't know whether to go with a hat or no hat. Nice eyeballs. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, you too. You've got nice eyeballs as well, sir. Very round. I can confirm your eyes are in perfect health. I I can confirm on stream there is nothing between pups' ears. But we knew that already. <laughs> <laughs> Just empty space. <laughs> oh. uh, Roadrunner, thank you for three years. Happy anniversary. JT, thank you for five years. Happy anniversary. Nice gloves, nice gloves. You too, you too, nice gloves. Right, I'm nice overalls you've got on. Skip time a little bit here. Okay, right. Um, We got paid for something. Payments are for R1 delivery of 21 logs. Okay, they must have consumed them, which means they probably produced something. East Whitty Engine Service, $45 paid. Reputation changed from 110 to 103%. I, I'll take that. We lost three, so we lost 7% after all those shenanigans yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a post-it note on my monitor as well. If we buy anything to re-log the game. <laughs> yeah, I think we got away with things a little bit there. All right, let's go to 10 past 6. That should generate us some more stuff. Eight cars a day, three log cars per car. Oh, it's just updated. Yeah, it just updated. Ella Bridge site. All right, this is a new drop for Ella. And then behind it is some more sawmill stuff. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. It's really annoying, like, the way this thing deploys to the interchange. It would be really nice if you had some say in it. And attaches it all together as a one unit. Yep. Yeah. The the problem is when you come and reverse when you come your when you bring your train to the back of that, 
you'll nudge it forward and it'll click lock into this yep. again. So although you just disconnected it, I guarantee you'll couple it again. So yeah. Anyway, so according to our switch list, nothing needs doing, which means we probably need to add some stuff. But it got, um, it's going to be all the cartridges for the... Why are they empty? Hang on, let's have a look at the milestone. Apparently there were six awesome. cars. The cars will be delivered to the interchange next time, which is what we've done. So why are they empty? Apparently it's got 50 ton of tiles on. What, that empty one at the front? If you, look, if you hover your mouse over it. Oh, right. In that case, it's just a, a drawing thing then. Yeah. Uh, are you taking them up to the bridge site? I'm just adding things. Wait, what? Ooh. Animated bits. <clears throat> just adding them all to the switch list. Yeah, I've done the uh, last three as well. I wish there was an easy way of doing that. Yeah, you like you know on the um if you're taking passengers, you can say just copy to all that you've coupled to. Yeah, like they should just have that option when you want to add yeah. stuff to the everything switch. that's coupled. Add it to the switch list. That's yeah. it. Because it's in want. the game, they yeah, just yeah. need to add it as another function. I agree. Uh, all these cars are oh, they're not empty yet. Okay, we'll leave them. Right then, which train, which log are you taking? Are these both repaired in here? They should be. Should uh, be. Well, they should uh, that's be. got no water. 100%. What? Scroll through, he's got no water, apparently. Are you kidding me? Uh, that's what it says. They're all in 100% condition. Yeah, what, did he just sit taken... there burning water all night? <laughs> that's what I'm... Well, no, because Scroll 2's still got 2,000 tons. The... So how's that got no water? That doesn't I make any never... sense. Right, I'm going to move this forward and I'll have to pull that one out for you. Yeah. You've got 4.7 tons of coal on the one as well. Do the switches for you. What, what slide is set to? Might be set to Good morning, possible. Paul, Sean, and Chat. I have arrived to make sure you are steam training <laughs> properly. Sploss. Hey, Chris. Um, just check the throttle state on that on that uh, logo. It was on hundred percent. It was on hundred percent. Even though it's in neutral. Uh, it and both brakes no are on. Okay, so none of that makes any sense. So the brakes are on. It's on hundred percent throttle. Makes no noise and burns all the water. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I would explain the water. To be fair, I think we were rushing a little bit last night, but the fact that there was no indication yeah. is a bit weird. I love how I've got the scroll free selected. I can see how fast it's going, even though you're pulling it. <laughs> going to top this off with water as well because it's burned through a bit. You'll have to click it again now. I didn't click it again, it did it automatically. Oh, fair enough. Wait, interesting. So when it's extended, it'll drop down the moment you're in the right place. That looks like it. Let's test that theory. Leave that one as it is, and I'll pull forward and see if it does yep. the other one. Yeah, that's useful. At least the water's free. Yeah. However, it only has 2.7 tons of coal in it. Minus 4.7. So I think we've got a cold... Coal. It's gone through half the um, thing of coal, basically. Two tons of coal overnight. Thank you for uh, three years, Chris, by the way. 
If the water spout is above the track, the coal chute is down, it'll auto start. Okay, we'll just leave them down then. Okay, that's that one done. Also, why is scroll four just it should be attached to the log cart. Why is it? Right I left there looking? last night. Okay. Let me move scroll four back up to the logs. Because it was getting late, I didn't bother. Yeah, it does auto fill. Nice. Uh, will you have a shunter in this game later on? I don't know. Well, what's frustrating about what happened in the engine shit is that when the train runs out of water or coal, you can't move it. There's literally no way of moving it. We just happen to have another locomotive here, but if there was none around, we'd have to bring one over just to drag it out of there to this water supply. And that's a little bit annoying. Like, okay, we left the throttle on, but there needs to be some clue that the throttle's on. taking a lot of water. The game sucks. <laughs> Not a fan. Right, do you want to detach me from you and I'll go on with it? You're filling up with coal. Yep. Once that's full, you're good to go. Yep. Am I in your way, Jig? For you to get them uh well i'm i've got to wait for you to pull your three first but i can still move back though okay that's fine you can just reverse directly i'll go via the main line okay. but i'll need you to get behind your stuff yeah Nikki World, the goal for today, we should get it soon, is to unlock the um, the section down to, well, this bit here. I don't know how far it goes. Maybe to Bryson, Walker, I, I really don't know. So that should unlock some more passenger industry opportunity, and then we'll go from there. But yeah, I mean, obviously we need to make more money to buy better locos. Right now, we're not exactly loaded. Six thousand dollars. I'm not doing too bad. Thank you, thirty eight months, Hawk. waiting for you. No, as I'm on my way. 
So I'm going to have to get out of your way. Which track are you on? Lane two? Are you on three? I'm on three. I need to go to lane two. Oh, God. Don't go on three. Stop this. Yeah, I need to wait for you to move, and then I'll have to yeah. go into a different lane. I'm going to have to drag mine back when you are out of the way. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, but I need you yeah. to get down there before I can go onto your lane. Uh, the Ella Bridge will not the entire Walker branch and the main line beyond Bryson to the next 30 mile hour marker. Okay, so quite a bit then. So basically down to just west of Bryson. Nice. So we'll get all of that. Lovely. More sections of track I can test the speed limit on. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, looks nice. How much is it? It's about £25. I think I paid for it. What's that? $30? Early access, though. But multiplayer's been okay. Surprisingly. It's better than some fun game MP so far. <laughs> it's quite a reverb on that. Like it just echoes as if it's in a mountainous cavern. <laughs> It's 28, 99 euros on Steam, now the sale's over. Oh man, did I miss the Steam sale? That's annoying. Not the only one. How much was it on sale? How, mu how much did I waste? You think it was $2 off the winter sale? Woo! <laughs> About 10% then. It sounds like a 10% sale, in which case I'm not that bothered. You set for the main line. Wait, what? You scumbag game. <laughs> what a scumbag game. I literally threw that switch. Off you go. 
<laughs> uh, good morning, Jason. Switch your sensor reset for animation isn't complete before rolling stop touches the hitbox. Let me guess, it's got a big hitbox. Just like, here we go. Uh, do you have a model train set in the basement? I don't have a basement. And I don't have a model train set. <laughs> because I've got to do some yeah, reversing. Guns, yeah. yeah. I believe all your points are set. <laughs> hey, Troy, how are you doing? Thank you for 107. Hope you're well. Happy New Year. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Although it's going to get pretty cold this week, by the sound of things. So I'm not looking forward to that. The tester switches hit by trying to put a fusey on it. Can't put them on a switches. Interesting. So yeah, they have a huge hitbox. Minus two, minus three. I think we're doing minus four down here on Tuesday or Wednesday. But it's like barely getting above zero during the day and then just going to minus something at night. Uh, what was the decision around pushing the stock rather than pulling? Basically... The stock has to go to a bridge site, and if I was to pull it, the locomotive would be trapped. So you have to push the consist in. And that is the same problem I face, so I have to push mine as well. If you're near the coast, you'll benefit from a bit of sea warming in winter. Um, yeah, so if you look at the Ella Bridge site, which is this, here, this is the delivery area. So you have to push it in here because it's for that bridge. If you was to drag it in, your, your locomotive would be trapped here for like a day while they unload it. I think the WAV file sounds like a steam sawmill instead of a train. I reckon the developers went online and bought some WAV files 
steam train noises and then just loop them. I don't think they've got an audio guy in there yet. That would be my guess. To um, check the login, see if it's uh, finished yeah, yeah. loading. Yeah, I think they are being pitch shifted 100%. You can equip your logo with different whistles. Control click, equipment tab, customize. Sounds depressed. <laughs> well, that's all right. Like that. Now we're going to spend the next five minutes trying to find a whistle. Is that character customization? Because I'm doing exactly the same right now. Of course you are. What the heck is that? I don't even know what that is, but that does sound like a boat. There's loads of them. No way. Saddle tank one. That's why I just clicked It's on. almost a tank. <laughs> what is that? You've got to put that on your logo. It's on. I've said it. And the rest of them are just like pitch variations of that. It's so weird. I've got the Thomas the Tank on. It's just the weirdest thing. Which is the one I liked? It was one of these near the start, I think. Oh god, I've not been checking any of my things yet. <laughs> I have been keeping an eye on my speed, though. But I better make sure this is set. Which it is. Okay, I'm all good. Not a problem. My train sounds so strange now. Was it CNJ? Uh, that's the door. with that. Yeah, the logs are still being unloaded. Really? Yep. There's still two carriages with logs on. What about now? Still two carriages with logs on. Okay, they must be full then. Because um, I, I skipped an hour. The... If it didn't consume it, it must be full. That's in the information screen, isn't it? Uh, you go to locations, sawmill, and it says 100% in storage, yeah. 22 log. Where's the where the rail? Um, the what? passenger cart. The passenger cart is. I had to think what it was called. Then. I left it at Whittier, I think. 
Didn't we leave it around the back? Um, possibly. We can have a look. I don't know if you want to do that after you've done that, so you've got something to do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've got to drop these. Like, we really need this expansion, don't we? Yep. Well, it's not that wet here. Is it not? No. Thank you, Blizzard. Apparently it's an error. Does someone thought it'd be a great idea to get my little sister an electric scooter and she's just riding it around the house and that's all I can hear? <laughs> Until the battery dies and then you get an hour of peace. Actually, she's probably got like six hour recharge. <laughs> Right, if you after want to grab the passenger cart, there's an empty uh, freight box up at Edda as well. I'll come and grab that. Right, they're all delivered. Sounds good. That should complete that. All right, I'm reversing back to Ella. Sam's good. I'm on my way up from the main depot. The big menu, left tab, you get a breakdown. What, this thing? You get a breakdown of your daily operations in the last day. Give you a nice little insight to whether you expand packs or freight. Hundred nineteen packs first, sixteen freight first. Outstanding waybills, Whittier, two cars. Oh, those are the cars that are still unloading, I think. The oil yep. tanker and the other one. Yeah. Finance, 1700 for freight, 119 for passenger. Woo. What do you want me to do at Ella? Do you want to move some passengers so you've got something to do? Because everything's being held up by that bridge expansion, isn't it? Yeah. I'm coming up towards Ella to grab the empty freight car and just take it back to the interchange. My horn sounds so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Red Mustang, thank you very much for nine months. Just don't leave Ella yet, because I'm coming up the main line. That's fine. I'm reversing into the um, Pax car anyway. All right, I'll uh, stay here then as we get here. Or am I in the way here? Uh, no, you're fine there. What are you trying to get to? You see the empty um, on the left-hand side, 
Yeah. You've got an empty cargo box. I need to grab that. Right, okay. Hmm. It doesn't help because I'm on the single bit of track up to my little. Yeah, I'm better off getting out your way then. Why are you not moving? You connected the airlines of the something's, something's still not. red. It's like an airline has got a leak somewhere. That's interesting. I'd love to know how the front angle cock suddenly opened. Yeah. Like all I did was disconnect it from the things at the front and then reverse down here. So how the heck is it opened? Magic. Like a shift clicked on the glad hands, which should have automatically shut the valve. That's odd. Right, your shunting area is now free. I'm going to reverse back down the main line when you're into it. Sounds good. Do I have to throw the switches? I can have straight. Yeah, Tyra, I just can't work out how that happened. That's what I'm perplexed by. Good evening from Sydney. Good evening, Will. Is it warm where you are? I suspect <laughs> so. It's probably warmer than where we are. Oh, for sure. Uh, Mustang, you don't build track in this. You basically manage a company running logistic operations. There's no track lane. Twenty Celsius and rain. Oh yeah, that's that's so cold. <laughs> that's, that sounds freezing. I don't know how you're coping. I would not want to play cricket in thirty-six Celsius heat. No, thank you. Come on, Poppy. Where are you, mate? Coming around the corner now. That's amazing. That is so your locomotive. It's something multinational. I drove my log train past Whittier, half empty. <laughs> Lol. What are you taking that, pups? To the interchange. 
Mm. So I basically got to follow you all the way down. As if. <laughs> As if. As if this is a thing. Oh my god. <laughs> Pink passages. Beautiful. Well, that's weird. When you click on it, it doesn't default it back to where it was. Base color. No, we have a bright pink. Oh, it just remembers the last colour you used. Oh, that's so nice. Lettering. Hang on. Text. S Q R L. Uh, Where's it put that? Oh no 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 no, no 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 no. We've just changed the whole thing. No 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 no. Oh, you've got to make me type. No, that's fine. Defaults back. There we go. Pink passengers? It's got to be done. Well, we're not missing that anytime soon. Without a mod, can't change the logo color. It's just a shame. And Baldy, how you doing? Definitely run around with salmon pink engines. The diesels. I see you can, but that's much later. What, you can colour the diesel? Purple? You need to adjust your TV in bits. <laughs> I was going to say, it's not That's purple. not purple. <laughs> game doesn't call it anything, it's just an RGB value. Panther's purple. What are people looking at? That is FF5EED. That's what that is. Candy pink. There you go. It's candy pink. Official <laughs> candy pink colour. <Ooh. laughs> Can't make a screenshot of my number 10 log because it shows some of the fancy you can do with 10 detect. Go on then. It's not even a subtle looping of the WAV file. It's literally a hard cut. 
no audio, and then you hear the audio again. Lol. Tony's first safety last to like that. <laughs> I, I love the writing at the end where it's just slanted. Yeah. I'm gonna go keep left. You need to stay left. I need to switch the switch and go right. Yeah. Um, well, we're gonna unlock some stuff shortly, Junior's and overnight, so we'll take a view on things then, I think. Switch has been switched. Thank you. Hey, Paulson. Uh, Skogs to Palm, thank you for 31 months. Seven passengers wanted to go back to Ella. Blimey. So I reckon when we can buy like two or three cars and fill them and then go like a long journey, I reckon that's going to be worth a few bob. Oh, yeah, for sure. Don't mind me, Thomas the Tank coming through. Uh... <laughs> you didn't kill me, hooligan. <laughs> Shouldn't be playing other tracks. Who's playing? I was going over for my lunch. There's a big old tank of water. Surely this thing, 7.8 tons. Issued three days ago. It's been there three days unloading a single box. Four thousand gallons of oil. That's been there three days as well. That was literally at the start of the game. Four days that's been there unloading. Well, I don't think so, Tire Up. I don't know what it's. Uh... Seven active way bills. That's the. Um... Yeah, the log thing, isn't it? Yeah. So you're taking that one, and then there's the the log things won't move in, but there's only one, two, three, four, five, six cars. How many have we got down there? Should be eight on there, I believe. Let me check. Does that mean two are not empty yet? Um, one isn't empty. There's eight, so what one's missing? Are we missing a car? Oh, they should all be on there now. A seven. Is that right?
I think it looks rather fetching in pink. It's not gold. Wait, I've not seen any cliffs in this game yet, Tyrone. I'm hoping there are. This is where I came unstuck last time, I think. This little bend. I was doing 40-something around that bend. And it was too much for the game. It was like, nope. <laughs> yeah, they've not drawn any packs yet. Next, sir. Thank you for 53 months. I don't know about Cliff, but the red marble's grey. It's a lovely long bit of 4%. Mm. That sounds interesting. 4% gradient. Some spots where it gets a bit hurry with the wrong locomotive. Yeah, I can believe it. Four percent, that is steep. I feel like I know this stretch to Ella quite well now. <laughs> Been up and down it a few times. Hey, Jimbo. Shortly arriving at Ella Station. Please mind the gap between the doors and the platform. Please take all your personal belongings with you and try not to fall off the train. Thank you for riding with. Seriously, Seriously. quick railroad logistics. <laughs> Can you imagine if you heard that? <laughs> Why are they not unloading? There they are. Um, how long before those logs are done? There's still one cart that needs unloading, but I think the sawmill's fill up still. Let's try skipping a couple of hours. What about now? Let me check. No, one's still full. What? Full? Well, it's got three logs on, I think. Oh, my God. Eight cars a day means they roughly unload one car every three hours. Because I don't want to waste the log because it pays quite well.
Do you know when you put a fusey on the track and you put your loco on it, it looks like your loco's got LED underlighting. <laughs> <laughs> Pimp my ride. <laughs> yeah, I got one of those loco, steam locos with the uh, LED underglow. Yeah, I went for red. <laughs> Fifty-six dollars. Woo! I'll bring these back, but as soon as that log's done and we've shifted it, I want to skip through and so, so we can unlock the mission, the milestone. Yeah, no worries. Not yet. But look at all those things that unlock later. Purchase tractor silver, $10,000. Diesel fueling stand. Well, realistically, you only need that when you start getting into diesel. It's not that expensive either. What was the maximum loan? Twenty-two thousand two hundred and five. Hmm. The car you bring to the bridge can be returned to interchange after seventeen hundred. Okay. Right, logs are ready to go. I'll move him onto the main line and set the AI up. Up to seventeen hundred, you say? So I've got two choices: either go back to Ella, sorry, back to Whitt Whittier, and then back to Ella. Actually, no. What I'll do is I'll just I'll set off. I might end up leaving this at Whittier. And then coming back. Actually, no, I'll probably bring this back to Ella, then go and get the bridge job. Yeah, no, I'm just going to set up the log for again. Max loan is 10% of your railroad value, which ironically means that if you loan to buy a loco, you can then instantly loan more. <laughs> That's amazing. So when it when it looks at your um, your railroad value, it doesn't take into account the debts that you have. <laughs> because if it did, it would be like, well, you don't own that. That's not an asset. Cars are way below 1,000 a pop, which might be worth getting a couple more to prefer for tier two. How many how many log cars can you fit in? Okay. How many log cars can you fit into that loading bay that we're going to? Um, no idea. I'd have to wait till I get up to the creek. Mm. I mean, there is another loading area, but it's smaller than that one. Sawmill and loader can fit 12 cars. Yeah, but I meant the log loading place. Up at the creek. Only L1 and L2 can fit more than that. It does mean a bit of shunting. I think we're using L2, aren't we? Yes. I can't remember if it can fit any more log cars. The data payments will sink if you're not careful as car deliveries and payments will not be constant. Might get five cars one day, twenty the next. Five cars of what and twenty of what? I don't understand. What what's the variable? If the tracks are full it doesn't spawn new cars for that contract. I have no idea what they're talking about right now. I'm confused. Yeah. I think they might be saying the interchange if it's full, I'm not sure.
they're also possibly saying like if you don't move your empties around into the right place and get rid of them in other words don't clean up your mess it'll get you into trouble Creek. Yeah. Okay. Oh, really? Whew, you did put it back. Oh, no, I knocked it back. I think on L2 it can fit 8 or 9. The rest will go to go L1. Yeah. The trouble with that is you'd need a second loco and another AI driver. Eight plus five is not 12, Tyro. Okay. <laughs> Math's in it. Does it tell us how long is left on that milestone? No. Thirteen tons of rail. They've clearly got no assets for the uh the ties, twenty three tons of ties. But it's not got anything on it. Hello. What? What brings yeah. you to these parts? Oh, I just thought I'd come and see me old mate. How you doing, mate? Got a cup of tea? Oh, yeah, a cup of tea and some biscuits. Just boil it on top of the boiler here. Oh, yeah. Imagine in summer sat next to this thing. You'd be pretty hot. Do you want the hatch open? It's a bit cooler now. Oh, that's a nice breeze, that. Yeah. Like having the air conditioning. Yeah, that, that's, that's the air conditioning of the time right there. I wonder if I can get a cup of tea delivered to me. It's so it gets bad. me every time. Right, I'm going to drop these packs up at Ella and then go straight up to the... I'm going to skip time at that point and go to the bridge. Uh, you can disconnect and I can take them if you want. I'm still waiting for some cargo to be undone. Disconnect what? You don't want to take the passenger cart. I can take it up there. Well, you can, but I've got to go up that way anyway. Okay, you carry on. I'll wait for my thing to empty. I might get a cup of tea while it's empty. Why are you emptying? I'm waiting for the, uh, you know, the cargo I had to shunt to the sawmill. Two are empty. I'm just waiting for the third one to empty. Oh, okay. Would you like a cup of tea? Because I'm going to go and get one. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Uh, any biscuits or sandwiches? Uh... Biscuits? Blimey. You spoilers. Oh, oh, no. Do you want biscuits or sandwiches? I'd like and... a, a Ferrero Rocher and oh, a okay. salmon sandwich. Do you want caviar as well? Or just... Nah. Wouldn't touch the stuff. Okay, I'm, I'm okay. not posh. <laughs> okay, we'll have to ask Ken about that. Ask oh, John B. R. B.
We could do. Yeah, you could have a barbecue on that fire. Whoops. I reckon you just pop the door there, roast your marshmallows on it. of you you don't often see. couple of times put a stake on the shovel <laughs> it's got to be done how about the one Clarkson tried to make in the Steam Loco I can't remember what what did he do on the Steam Loco I remember the episode where he took the uh, was it the Flying Scotsman or something and he was racing up to Scotland. And was it Hammond on a motorcycle? I'm trying to remember. Bacon egg sandwiches. That was a funny episode because, like, I remember Clarkson getting off at the end and he took his goggles off and his face was like black. Just some little white, <laughs> white eyes. And he eventually realized it is actually hard work on board a locomotive. Uh, welcome, Buckham. Jaguar and Hammond on a motorcycle. He got wet, didn't he, Hammond? I remember he, I remember him riding along and it was like raining in his face. He had like black leathers on and stuff. It wasn't a nice day. I'll be streaming, Quantum. But well, you know Ronnie's gonna win. Eh, it's kinda done its time, hasn't it, Mike? Yeah, I think Tierra Valley need a new map at this point, don't they, really? Or bigger map or something. Clarkson's Farm, I think they signed up series 
two and three at least. Uh, sorry, three and four, I think. Okay, train is empty. I'm going to move this out of the way. I don't know if the logs are done. I'm going to go up to the bridge, though. It's the bridge is what I want finishing. Andy Lad, how you doing? Yeah, I've not seen that yet, agreed. Just, I really enjoyed the one where um, May went to Japan, though. Talking about James May's man in India. Mm. I've watched the first 30 minutes of it and I've already been laughing. I've not seen it yet. Is it on Prime? Yeah. How many episodes are there? Question. Three. Three episodes. Yeah. Enough. What was that? The far enough was... face has been. I think it just refreshed the map. Yeah, it did. That was a massive lag spike while it built the bridge. I think it had to lock everything, update the map, and then allow everybody to carry on. Oh, smoke. Look at the map. Look at the map. I'm just map. flying up that Whee! way to have a little nosy. Yeah, I did a log pound yesterday. But we can now drive all the way down there. Probably some new contracts we can take as well. Oh, yeah, for sure. 59 passengers waiting. That's Bryson. Uh, yeah. That's enough for 20 one car. To, yeah, 20 to Ella and then 39 to Whitler. It's only sixty dollars. Man, they might pay more. The distance is longer. You would hope so, wouldn't you? Pops, double check if the buffer is gone, and the bridge track is in. Yeah, yes, it's there. Look, it's fine. No, but I think for me, as I'm a MP. Oh, as in what it might not have. Make sure it's actually you. there. Well, teleport here. Or just yeah. look at it. See the bridge? And the buffer is gone. Why is it showing the handbrake on two cars when I've already just released them? Oh, that's red. Oh, that's one. Okay, right. They want to go back to the interchange. So I'm going to head back that way. The bridge is built. Um, do you want to check if the logs are done? Uh, yes. 
so I set him to come back. And then I can smash into him. New team, thank you for 101 months. Wait, new team, did you, um, did you get a VIP badge, new team, because you don't have it on display? Oh, God. Uh, stop, stop. better um okay can one of the mods put in the memos chat that i need to give new t505 a vip badge nice, uh, spaguana thank you for 20 sip Almost crashed. It was like nowhere near crashing. On the site now. Avail oh, we've got a few available now. Bison Bridge, Diesel Fueling Stand, one in Whittier, one in Bison. Purchase track to Silver and signals Whittier to Bryson. Enhance the railroad with CTC signals. So that presumably unlocks that CTC signal box then, right? Yeah. Stone away from signals between Whitty and Bryce. Okay. That's that. That presumably allows you to flick signals along the route. I presume that's what that's for. What new depot, DJ Rich? Automatic and manual control. Wait, what? Automatic? How does that work? Dragging those boxes out the siding. 
y'all. There's two signal modes, ABS, which automatically does signals based on the switches and occupancy. CTC is full remote control, can't touch mainline switches locally, and signals are set in Bryson Office Fire Player. Right, so you can only switch the main line. Is that what you're saying? Signals only protect the main yard. Yards will always have manual switch to. Wait, so once you get that, you can no longer operate, for example, this here, because that would be a signal. It's not braking system. Like, hmm. it's not okay. braking. Normally, those signals will be controlled differently depending on the mode. On the mode. Okay. I think it's going to be one of those suck it and see things. I'm at the triangle. Whoa, who's on the head? That's the AI, isn't it? Like, don't move the AI. Up there. Um, oh, I know why it stopped. I know why it stopped. Signal. It stopped yeah. because it's merging. Don't move it, is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you will crash it into my train. I mean, I might as well just take control of it at this point. Yeah, it stopped because that point's not set, right? Sorry AI, I'm taking manual control. Cloud reflections are even worse than the clouds themselves. <laughs> <laughs> like a, a two <laughs> FPS animation. These cars you've put here already, right? Yes. Nope, I'm just in a different train, Chris.
Okay, some dropped. That's not the main line. Native, that's the main line. That is lane one, the main line. Or track one. <clears throat> that's track two. That's basically ours. And that's our drop off point. That's track three. That's also a drop off area there. And that's track four, one of our sidings. Yeah, see, it's done it again. It's. That angle cock has opened up again when I disconnected, even though I shift clicked it. Hmm. Very strange. That's twice it's done that. Personally, I don't think Ronnie cares whether he gets fined or not. What's he going to get fined for? His footwear. I knew, I literally knew this was happening. You see, I think he wants to wear trainers shoes. because he, his feet are hurting. Yeah. But equally, he doesn't care about the rules, so he likes trying it on a bit. It's a bit of a fire starter, Ronnie. And we all know, uh, is it Barry Hearn? Oh, doesn't... yeah. Doesn't really like Ronnie anyway, so. Well, yeah, because he's outspoken and he doesn't play by their rules. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Exactly, Knight. With the money he has, the fine won't <laughs> really matter. But they have a dress code at the end of the day, but, you know, if there's medical reasons, he probably should get checked out by a doctor. You can't be comfortable wearing the shoes they have to wear for hours on end. Well, he's done it all his career, but he's getting older now. Yep. So, yeah, I think his feet probably are hurting. I have the same problem he's got, basically. If I'm on my feet for hours, my feet really start hurting. A lot. That's why I wear sketches. Same reason. Um, What else have we got to do? I suppose we should think about the next... Milestone, or maybe head over, head over to Bryson. I don't know. I need to move these into the interchange first. What are you moving? Okay. I just put the logs into the sawmill, and now I need to go back to my train and move. You get out your way then. Got the decent when you buy a local, the devs are actively asking for log files of both host and client when a desync happens. Ah, okay. Um, well, next time we buy a loco, but I don't know, I have no clue where the log file is. I was going to say, where is the log file located? Updates a local load, giraffe lab, railroader. Okay. Giraffe lab, love it. All right, let me look at these contract things. Bryson Bridge. I'm not interested in building another bridge yet because we need to deal with Bryson. Uh, decent fuel and stand. Signaling $10,000. Purchase tractor silver. Where is silver? There. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. That would make for a very interesting passenger run. <laughs> silver to Bryson. That's a long, long drive. And yep. there's an, another interchange down there. Well worth, but you need a long range loco. Yeah, that's a long drive. You could just fire the AI off, though, and it could just go all the way down there. Ten grand. Hmm. Maybe we just do contracts in Bryson for a bit. Yeah. Before we start working on a milestone. 
Not Sounds another good. interchange. It moves the interchange. East Whittier will just become a yard. Oh. Wait, so then every time we have to take vehicles back to the interchange, we have to go all the way down there. <laughs> like, no. Uh, we'll hold off on that one for now, Paul. Yeah, we will hold off on that one. Suddenly, instead of just bringing empty cars and stuff back to here, you've got to bring them all the way down here. Oh, heck no. <laughs> it's the answer to that. Yep, that's a hard no, that is. Suddenly the freight becomes a morning westbound, afternoon eastbound kind of thing. Yeah, and a lot of mileage. Backs of freight pays by the mile. Oh, I'm sure it's... Yeah, I'm sure it's good money. I just don't like the idea of every time a box car becomes empty or a tanker becomes empty or whatever, we've got to bring it all the way down there. Like, you're really going to have to line your sidings up and then take everything down there in one big loco. I'm going up to Bryson, why? I need a loco up at Bryson at some point. Thirty minute, forty five minute run. What to Bryson down to that silver? What do you mean? There's nothing there yet. I thought there were contracts there. Somebody said. Somebody literally just said there's contracts in Bryson. In fact, you said it. Maybe you need to take a look at the new contract at Bryson. You haven't accepted them. Do you mean the milestones? You mean these? Right. So the way Locations I see it, Locations tab, apparently. What? The okay. location tab. Oh, these. Connolly Creek, Bryson... Oh, these contracts, I see what you mean now. Bryson Depot. Diesel. Lumber. Lumber supply. Standard oil. I like the sound of that. Not that we have any oil tank. We'd have to buy loads of oil tankers. Yeah. I don't even know where you'd have to take the stuff. So they need to move them contracts to just like a contracts tab instead of locations. Where even is this? Ah. So West Out of Bryson. That's some kind of industry. You don't have to buy any. They spawn into transport. Oh, okay. All right, well, let's... Um... Why has it got tier one, tier two, tier three? Like, what's the difference? Like, what's to stop me taking tier three? Or why wouldn't I want to take tier three? What does it mean? More cars? Heavier transport? Longer, more complex. Higher tier is more cars per day. But without having a clue how many cars it's going to give me, how do I make that decision? Feels like a bit of a lottery. Above Bryson, Walker Logging. Oh, we can get more logs out of here. Look at this. 3.8 logs. 
Yeah, if we need more logs, we can get them. The problem is the sawmill can't churn through them. Can we upgrade our sawmill, yeah. Where's your sawmill? Available tier. Well, there's a tier two. We can knock it out to a tier two, but we'd have to supply it. Does that increase its performance? 100, 100, 100. 21 logs in storage. Logs are eight cars per day. I don't know what it's going to do. More cars, more payday. One person can do tier three, no problem. Okay. Well, I'll put the sawmill to tier two. I suspect it will churn through them quicker. Okay. At which point we may want to consider the lumber at Bryson, maybe. Bryson Freight House. Bryson Depot, Standard Oil. We'll get the oil contract as well. Tier one, tier two. Should we go tier two? Let's go for it. Because we're gonna have night soon, right? Yeah. So we'll have an extra body. Let's see what happens. Okay. I suspect this may. Nope, it's not gonna to finish today. Um, do you want to skip time then? Go for it. What's the situation with the logging? Wait, who's that train? It's me. <laughs> you fly down to the logs. Uh, logs are still unloading. Do you have locos you don't mind being on its side next to a track? Well, if you're not a professional, seriously quick train driver, then I'm not sure you have any business operating our trains, Knight. There you go. Tier something's out. Sawmill is now tier something or other. Reputation went up. Um, what does it say now? Locomo, right. Standard all tier two. Four to one percent for timely delivery. What does that mean? <laughs> A percentage bonus is awarded for fulfilling waybills on the same first or second day. So huh? if you deliver on the same day, you get four percent bonus. If you deliver it on the first day, you get a 2% bonus, and on the second day, you get 1%. Is that correct? That's not a huge bonus. What was the other one we did? The sawmill. 11 cars per day it can handle now, instead of 8. We'd have to get a reputation boost to get any more, I think. Oh, okay. cut. So you might as well just skip time till the stuff respawns. Five fifty-six. I don't know where we're meant to pick stuff up. I'm going to say the interchange, but that doesn't yeah. update till six o'clock, does it? Yeah, we'll be there soon. Time starts ticking when the car spawns. Okay. front of you. Oh. I 
The only problem is right now we don't know if we need to be pushing or pulling this log. Yeah. Uh, those logs appear to be empty, man. Yeah, they just empty when you skip time. Right, we'll have to either set the AI back up or get night on it. Well, we just need to pull it out onto the main line and then send it up there, right? And then we know if night goes quiet, he's derailed the entire train. Um, I didn't expect this to happen. I'm going on the assumption we're pushing. I'm going on the assumption of pulling, but I have no idea. <laughs> oh, you scumbag game, seriously. This is all caused by pubs. I blame pubs for this. Don't blame me. Just because you ain't got the skills to pay the bill. Well, we're going to the interchange and you set us onto the main line. Yeah, because if you read chat, someone said you need to push. You need to push the car for new contract at Bryson. That one. Yes. Is this not even connected? Should be. Uh, you're still in control of scroll to... There you go. Oh, so do you feel like sometimes you press select on the train and it doesn't actually select the train? Probably. We're not doing pink logging cars. I bet you can't even copy them, can you? I bet when you customize. Oh, you can copy to couple. Base color. Looks quite cool with the lantern shining down the whole length of the uh, cars. One minute to go. So what? The uh, refresh of the interchange. Go on, get out of here. Shoo. Love how how to do the whistle on the bow. Yeah. I will follow the proper checklist. <laughs> By the book. 
Oh, you can tell Matty won't be driving that train then if he has to follow a checklist. Uh, seven cars received. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. We've got just the one heating oil up to Hollyfield heating. We've got some sawmill. Oh my god, you scumbag game. Yeah, uh, have you noticed what it's done? Yeah, I do notice what it's done. It's put a, a standard oil at the front and a heating oil at the back. And then in between stuck a load of it's just like seriously. I can't believe they came along and dropped it off like that. So we've now got to separate all them. Yes. I'm just adding them to the switch list. If you go to IMU settings, what's your interchange mode set to? <laughs> Default. Um, what are you seeing that? Interchange. Blocked by destination. You mean this one? Mostly blocked, somewhat blocked, or hostile. What does that even mean? Hostile? Yeah, that's what it says. It's a train game. What, is that going to start spawning zombies? Determines the degree to which cars are delivered to the interchange, blocked, grouped by their destination. <laughs> Seven trains to die. <laughs> so right now, all the cars to the same industry are together. But there's an oil at the front and an oil at the back, so really? The lower down the list you go, the more often it actually just shuffles the list of cars. Thank you for 47 months, Jesse Juice. Right, so how do we make sense of this, pups? Well, I'm going to have to take the oil tank off the front. Are you sure? One wants to go... The standard oil. Well, I need the four in the middle. No, 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 I need no. the four box cars. Standard oil. Six miles west. Where's that one to go? Heating oil. One mile north. No. Olifield heating oil. Yeah, so the tank at the front, I get that that goes to Bryson. And then the four... Six miles west. These, the next four go around here. Then the manufacturing... goes... northwest. I think that goes to Whittier. Yeah? Yeah. The factory in Whittier, which when it gets there, it will need swapping with the one that's there because that will be available soon. Yeah. And then the Holly the Hollyfield heating oil is one mile north. That I think must be Whittier as well. I think. It's got to be. So I think what's happening is the tank at the front needs to go to Bryson. The next few are your normal shuffle around here. Yeah. And then the two at the back, they need to go up to Whittier and be shuffled into place. Yeah. Right. So do you want to take the six mile run and I'll shuffle the rest? Okay. Now, does somebody say I need to push that into Bryson? Uh, yes. Okay. So I'm going to have to pull it out of there first. I, uh, what about if I put it out onto the main line and then you push and I'll just go into the side in? Oh, you scumbag game. Why is it stopped there? Why Did is that it work? stopped there? One second. No. Nice. What doesn't it like? It's actually serious. The AI is... Uh, is what it see? is. Right. If 
So if I grab the oil tanker, bring it onto the main line, and then I'll go into the side, and you can just push it. Yeah, if you could just pull it out somewhere. Yeah, no. Worries. Which way do you want me to come at this? Uh, if you stop before the next switch over to the left track, mm -hmm. I'll bring it up there, and you can grab it. What you might as well do is you pull forward beyond just before the log split and then reverse yep. towards me and then just detach it and let it roll towards me. Sounds good. Just, you know, dutch it, basically. Fly, fly shunting. My colon water's fine. Bryson's got a coal tire as well, just needs a bit of topping up with a new coal car. Yeah, so how do we order a new gondola for it? Because we, do we have to buy a gondola, put it in the interchange, tell it to be loaded with coal, and then the next day take it up there? Or do we use our current gondola? In which case... No, you need another one. Shift T. Uh, That. That's a that's a forty-eight ton, thirty-six foot two bay hopper. That's that one. That's eight hundred and twenty-seven dollars. If I purchase that, I presume that will appear down there. Does that only appear overnight, or is that? Oh, it's put it on the back. Oh, as if. It's put it on the back. Yeah, just made life more difficult. Lovely. Uh, I'll move that for you in a sec. But I'm going to have to get it ordered to be full. I can't remember how you do that. Loads two. Here we go. Empties need to come here. All right, your oil tank is ready for you to grab it, slowly rolling towards you. going to load to Bryson this one. Customize the porting mark squirrel. Might be useful to put. Oh, you can't. Okay, lettering. If I put Bryson on there, what will it do? It changes the SQRL. Hmm. So if I put SQRL Bryson on it, that's some really small text. That's the only annoying thing about that. We're just trying to find a way of easily distinguishing where this gondola should go. Yeah. People abused it by pasting the entire B-movie script. <laughs> okay. Um, this just needs to be punted over somewhere. Do you want me to do that? What are you doing with that? Just, just chuck it down this main line. It is. It's ready for you just to push onto it. Okay. I thought we agreed you were going to fly shunt it down the main line for me. I mean, it went a bit and then stopped. Clearly, I didn't push it hard enough. It's a skill issue, is what you're saying. Right.
8,000 gallons of oil. Moneymaker TF2, you're not wrong. Oil and plastic. Black gold. Oh, that's a good point. I need to rig log. Uh, no, you don't. Hang on. So you can't see the gondola, is that correct? No, oh, no, I can. Is it just locomotives that it's a problem? It might be, yes, because I can see the scroll. Two zero one zero zero zero. Okay, that's interesting. So it it appears to be only locomotives that have this problem. Maybe you can take the back the tank car off wittier because it also pushed us up. Might as well just leave it to me because I've got to do a load of shunting around here anyway. Well, I was just going to grab hold of this gondola and pull it away from the food. Oh, I meant the oil car, not the gondola. You can have that. Rome, thank you for one, 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 tier two months. When does Knight want to join, by the way? I've sent in the stuff, so I haven't heard from him. Okay, we'll be eating or something. And that should mean that the we're loading logs. <laughs> Indeed, they are night. Yeah, hold down the right mouse key. What are you throwing there now? Uh, I need to park these gondolas there, well, so I can then push them into place. Because if I put them in, I'll get stuck. Okay. I'm just going to fly shunt this gondola down track three and stop it in track three. Sounds good. It'll need to go though because it needs to load overnight. Yeah, no worries. stop it before the switch what can you stop it before the switch for track four why because i need to go to track four to push these carriages otherwise i can't move well you'll have to then move this into place i think i just dump it there and i'll grab it when i go back okay this siding needs more more lanes yep
Track three is the interchange all the way back to the switch. Apparently. Oh, is it? Well, it's an interchange from here. How do you have to highlight that again? Tab then hover over the label for the car. Oh, it is as well. It goes all the way back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it can stay there then, can't it? Wherever it needs to be. As long as you can see it, that's the main thing. Yeah. Yeah, it must only be engines that I can't see. Yep. Locomotive spawns. So when we next buy a local, presume... Do, do we need to do anything before we give you the log file? Or give the devil log file? Well, I'll have to join their Discord and give it to them. Yeah, but you need to check it's not got, like, IP addresses and that yeah. kind of thing, in it? Especially if you're going to post it in the channel. Again, grab a log file. Shouldn't need to have to restart again. Well, I can't help you, Carlos, because I can't actually, you can't hear me. So. Refresh your page, I guess. Doing four to one. What? <laughs> Must have had a tailwind. Probably press like every browser will have a hotkey to mute the um, the Twitch. I think it's like M or something. I can't remember what it is. But you may have typed something on the keyboard thinking you were in the chat box and it's accidentally hotkeyed a mute on the channel. I've done that before. Passenger cars to price of return trip, good call. Yeah. I shall stop at, I think the car's at Ella, isn't it? Yeah. I see if there's any packs want to go up to Bryson as well. Efficiency. Might as well get paid to go both ways. Five miles this thing's got to go.
knight's ready to be dragged down, Paul. Okay. Let me just get my speed under control. Hello. Hello. Are you able to join? I'm in. Hang on. Should have given you the correct role. You probably need to join the crew or something. Scumbags, yeah. Yeah. Press I, information, and then uh, crew tab. You can basically join and leave different crews, but just get in scumbags for now. It says I'm already in it. I only have the option to leave or delete. Oh, we'll probably just leave logging crew then, if it's put you in that as well. Logging crew is not active. Interesting. Active is scumbags. It only becomes active when someone's in it. So with scumbags, uh, you press the T key and it brings up the switch list, which is kind of like things that need to be moved around. If it's got a line through it, it doesn't need moving. But if it's in bright white chalk, then it's a job that can be taken effectively. Yeah. Probably the best thing to do is go down to the yard where Pups is shunting and um, he can give you a little tutorial. On selecting trains and stuff. Hello? Come on, Renee! Come on, Renee! Not gonna lie, I've got it open on my other screen. I would never have guessed. I've got like, I've got your stream, chatty, and then the snooker. <laughs> and therefore, when his train derails, we definitely won't be blaming the fact that he's distracted by a snooker. Uh, right, night, hop on the train, come on. As in, take control. Right, sit in the seat on the left. You need some as a control click and select the uh, the locomotive. You just walk up in it and you'll sit down. There you go. And now press two. And control click the train. And click select. Now bottom left you have scroll three. No. Nope your active train so when you slide that it will control that regardless of whether you're on the other side of the map or not definitely won't catch you out I'm pressing select there while I would do anything try now nope as if Pops is eating You definitely selected on the loco, scroll three. LT scroll three T. No, you've you've clicked the uh you've clicked the uh hopper at the back. Okay, try this. Oh look! Okay, got it. All right. All right. Should be in reverse and the independent brake should be on. Yeah. Take that off and hit the throttle. More than one player can control the same loco. Yeah.
throw it into forward and then I'll tell you when to go. That's annoying. Might have fell through to go forward. Just hit 100%. Don't get wheel slip. Oh. Then bring in the reverser a bit. There you go, you pick up speed. We have some stuff to move before we can move some other stuff. Well, suggest the log files contain more info over who is to blame for d There's so many variables. Also try and stick to 30. this track before. <laughs> this should be good. First, don't we? Cool. You can stop. And throw it into a forest. When you get close to the box cart, you need to be on a five or under. I just ram straight into it and push it into the building. No. No. I can confirm O'Sullivan is wearing trainers. Oh, let me be surprised. <laughs> The thing is, it wouldn't have been so bad if they've actually bought some like black sketches or something. Yeah. But it's drawn attention because of the colour of it. Yeah, the so like the what's it called? The bottom of the sole. Tread. The tread's white, isn't it? Yeah. Which was unnecessary. Right. Are you in? No. Right, now press number two, so you're in external. Mm -hmm. More idea that. Way. And then hover your mouse. No. And disconnect that. Now shift click. There you go, it'll open all the files and you can go forward. Do the passengers pay more if they get there quicker, or do they not really care about that? I don't think they care to be honest, Paul. Players outside of the arena. Yeah. You can go the handbrake as well. Actually, not in the grounds, if that's what you mean. You do it in the crucible more, because you see them walking between the the crucible and the, the main bit yeah. at the top of the plaza. Or in our case, we see someone at the hotel. Did you go to the um, practice room bit area? We saw Mark. Um, Stuart Bingham. What uh, Mark? Yeah, there's more than one Mark. Mark Williams. Stuart Bingham obviously wasn't playing. Do you mean yeah, the... He sat, he, sat, he sat down in the chat. Do you mean the bit with the multiple tables, or the bit where you look through the glass window? Where you look through the glass window. Yeah, tiny little windows. 
Yeah, so we were in that bit because that was the warmest part. <laughs> and they just walked out of the walked out from the back and came across. Full reverse. We did manage to get early access in, and then uh, we, were oh, the, nice. we were at the entrance, and then my dad uh, decided to block the entrance, and then Jimmy White couldn't get past him. <laughs> it was quite funny. <laughs> It's just like this security guy's like, can you move out of the way? You can turn around and go, oh, hello. Can I have an autograph, Jimmy? <laughs> yeah, but it wasn't the correct format, Tyro. I know, I know what it should have been, I just can't bother doing it. downhill gradient. No percent. No, no point one. Okay. I need to slow right down because I just saw a 15 mile an hour limit. And how fast were you going? <laughs> I was doing 35 cruising along but there's a 15 but I think it just applies to that track there yeah it just applies to that curve that's fine but it's safe and sorry right, I'm gonna work out where this is going right, 1.2 miles southwest Keep coming all the way back, mate. Oh, it's straight down. Oh, it's... No, hang on. If you've got tab mode active, um, press tab and you'll yes, see. Yes, 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 I have. If you hover over it, you'll see where it needs to go. But bring it all the way back to this gondola. The one right at the back? Yeah. So many sidings at Bryson. Oh, that's nice. Do you know why you didn't have to flick that switch, Knight? Because you did it? No, because you're merging onto it. Oh, yeah, so it should automatically switch because you're coming from the side that pushes it over. I do. Why go left here? Or keep going? It's very unclear. Forward. I didn't want to go up to pack stop. I don't care about the pack stop for now. Just going to drop this off. I literally can't find where I'm meant to be going here. Okay, um, do you want me to jump up there and give you a hand? No, it's fine. Channel one is there. Okay, I need to keep going. 
Right, no, we need to take that box cart and put it where we just took that one from, and then we need to come back for the heat and oil. Actually, we'll drag the heating one up there as well a bit and then just leave it. Mm -hmm. No, that's why I asked the question about do I need, do the passengers pay more for the, if you get them quite quicker? And the consensus was no. So I thought, well, this thing is going to take a long time to unload. Let's just dump it and come back with the packs, get a load of packs from here down to Ella and then set back. This is a higher priority because the packs don't count. And it won't take like a minute to unload them. To be honest, I don't see, like, if I'd have spent time disconnecting and then reconnecting, I might as well just blast through if I knew where I was going. I just wasn't sure whether I had to turn left back there or not. Yo, yo, yo. Is it left here? I think it is. the right place. JJ. Oh, it's a bit of a downhill. What's the gradient on this? 3.8, 3.9. Blimey. That's not true, Junior's and they'll just they'll only come out at the right from the station. They'll just like if the station got full it would stop producing more. $75. Wow. Go you. Well done, Paul. I don't know how many packs cars we're going to need yet. That's the thing. If you do well this year. Yeah. Yeah, you better pay attention. Wow. Oh, yeah. This is the speed creeping up towards 40 while you're going for a lot of yeah. switching. You better be careful. 28.7. And because you just put the brake on, I'm also in control of the train. A lot of switches are like 25. The sidings need to be down at 15. And we'll damage the loco. It has to go to the yard and be repaired. We lose reputation for damaged cars like it's messy. I I'm learned the hard way. Right, stop. Uh, a Dowdrill, 71 months. Yeah, a knight, don't listen to Dave. He's not good for his money anyway. He'll tell you he'll give you 20, but he won't. <laughs> Up and go. His reputation's low. Plus, he doesn't even like snooker nights. And why you would listen to him in the exactly. first place? Because it's totally know. boring. Price engine service are now available. It doesn't share engineers with Whittier, so they need to be hired separately. Fair enough. We'll hire them if we need them. Right, you need to go past this and then reverse back in. Seventy-four passengers waiting. Thirty-six for Ella, thirty-eight for Whittier. I can't take them all. <laughs> uh, we could 
could potentially how long's the platform here because if i want to set a fusey like will a pax car here be okay all the way back on i can maybe that'll do Um, what else do we take? Standard oil and sawmill upgrade, wasn't it? In storage, 84%. Are those log cars ready to come back? Uh, I've been checking them. I last checked two minutes ago and they wasn't. All right, forward. All right, so no, we're going to have to pull that oil tanker that's already there out. And then push the new one in. So the old one is the first one we can drag out when it's empty. If that makes sense to you. Do you want me to go and get the one that's already in there now? Yeah, and then we need to move it. Then grab the new one and then push them both back in there. Push them both back in so that the new one is the one furthest away from us when it's in. Yes. Got it, yeah. Oh, we just got to the next switch. I'm going to load Whittier first and then Ella after because we get paid more for Whittier because they're going okay. further. Because I realize I can't take everybody and it's starting to load Ella first. So I'm getting no them worries. back off again. They're getting back off the, uh, off the train. Mm -hmm. Then I load Whittier, fill up on that, and then what's left is going to Ella. If I click that now. Why would you load them as a priority game? <laughs> That's so dumb. It's like I've told you I'm going to Whittier, and then I put Ella as well, and it goes, right, Ella, you're getting on before Whittier. And they're like, why? Oh. Let's go back. It loads Ella as a priority because you can then get, t get two tickets for the same distance. Wait, what? How does that work? 1.1 dollar Bryson to Whittier, two times one dollar for Bryson to Ella, and Ella to Whittier. I wish I had a clue what you was on about. Two times one dollar for Bryson to Ella and. I know their ticket prices, but that means when he said, so they're basically paying $2 to go from Bryson to Ella and Ella to Whittier. Mm. I'm confused. Right, stop One not. person going straight to Whittier will pay you $1.1. Forward. We've got to go all the way up to the next switch and then reverse back down. That's bonkers the way that works. That's just magic, that is. Oh yeah, I need another car. I don't disagree with that. You can max out if you're on full first because it will just limit the train to 14. Let me check the weapon carts. Yeah. <laughs> I 
isn't it? It's cute. It puts the bell on for a crossing. Oh. And then blows the whistle. Too long. One shot. One long. Amazing. By the book. Stop. The bus. Bryson has a lumber, coal, and supply company. So if we... Lumber, coal, and supply company. That's going to ask us to supply coal somewhere else, I assume. Probably. For which we'd need gondolas. Doesn't it spawn the gondolas for us? It's a contract. Hmm. Let's go tier two on that. I reckon we can handle it. Yeah. Appalachian hardwoods. Where's that? What's uh? Okay, that's the bit beyond Bryson. Are you used to the controls yet, Knight? Mm-hmm. Pretty straightforward enough. Do you know how to teleport? Uh, yes. I'll write it on the map and then press Control t Oh, who's a clever person? After we push this into place, you can teleport up to where the other train is and bring the logs down if you want. Yep, fine. I want a diesel locomotive. I want to know what the last one is like. Uh, Bryson and Supply will provide their own cars and cargo. Yeah, I'm going to take that on, tier two. We'll see how we get on. I haven't done the other one yet. Appalachian. Stop! Don't worry. Uh, you can also TP, yep. You usually do that after interchange time to grab all the waybills from the station agents. Not at the moment, Maxon. So you're saying it's a soft CH, Bigfoot. Appalachian. Just keep pushing, Knight. Well, Oli Cass, it's every time they cross a, a level crossing, isn't it? It's going to come down here and the fuse will stop it. Which is not what we want, really. How close does the passenger car have to be to the platform for it to work? Like no if the, idea. If the locomotive stops there, will it still work? 
Because like you can you put a fusey there and then get rid of them? Like, will that work? Stop! 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 Right, do you want to teleport up and grab the other train light? You have passed your driving test. Yeah, but Tyrope, I don't get how you can make this work with AI because if it's going to stop at the fusey, you can't put one here and one here. So that depending on which way you come in, it stops. Like it's just going to stop at this, isn't it? Gonna stop at the first one. Seven, fourteen to Bryson, twenty-three to Whittier. Oh, we'll get some more. You can't. It requires a bit of manual control to move to the next stage. Yep. Basically, it's just because the way fuses work, you just can't do. Like Ella, you can drop passengers off in both directions, but you can't make the okay. AI do this properly. That unloads. But if I want that to carry on now, I'll have to remove that fusey, basically. Okay. Okay. You never understood why the train whistles as much in the USA. I guess because they kept having people getting hit by the train. <laughs> so uh, somebody decided that we should whistle and bell an awful lot. So you've got no excuse, maybe. $22. dollars Right, so if I then put the fusey here. You should now. Hey, that works. You, you can kind of manage it if you do that, I guess. I've just left my body over there. <laughs> the best bit is you don't have a train now. I do have a train. Yeah, but it's being controlled by AI. Yeah, that's fine. That way I can get on with signals and stuff. Is that coming to Whitler? It's coming to Whittier, yeah. Okay. Why? Just wondering. Because I was waiting for your train to go past me so I can go up here. Where are you going? To Ella to grab the empty cart that needs to go back to the interchange. Okay. It's such a long single track stretch, this with no passing loops. Yep. You'll, you'll see me eventually just parked at the switch waiting for, <laughs> waiting for your train. Yeah, I see you. Oh my God. <laughs> Ugh. Like, why is there no passing loop? That's such a long stretch. It's basically two miles of single track. You got a wind problem, pups. Yeah. 
I love how it sinks the smoke coming out the whistle as well. Not, is that the whistle? Yeah, this thing, what's the, is this the compressor or something? No idea. Not far now, less than a mile. Woo! It's a generator, blimey. So is that night in the train, the log train? Yeah, yeah, night's in the log train. Yeah. Because we've only got three trains, so it made sense for someone just to take over that for a minute. Yeah, what are we on? 8,000. And it kind of works nicely with three trains because it means we've all got something to do. It did take me a few minutes to figure out that the AI had control of it. <laughs> now to turn that off. Otherwise it battles you. It's like, no, I'm taking it. I was going, why won't it go in reverse? Do what you're told. Oh, so there's the observation thing. Generate 20% bonus to passenger fares when operated as the last car in a train. That's regardless of the direction it's going, right? That's got to be worth getting. But it's seven grand? What? Hashtag not worth it. I mean, these other packs cars are like six. Oh, look, here's your train. Because you can't miss that carriage from a mile away. Pink passengers, mate. What's wrong with you? He's motoring. Helps cars are worth it. Oh, yeah, once you get good passenger money. He's not as sounding as... Oh, there he is. I say he's not sounding his bell. <laughs> How dare he? 3,000 gallons. Wait, what happened to the old box car? Did you remove it? Yeah, it was empty. Was it? Yeah, I took it back. I had tab mode open, it said it needed to go to the interchange. Hmm. I we had to swap the oil. Um, carts around because one was brand new and one was old so to get the old one out when it's empty <laughs> it would have been a bit of a pain AI engineer scroll to fuse in the gauge it might be funny but if I said that's the fuser you need to stop there why is it like 3-4 metres before the train uh, safety margin Paul safety margin rubbish I assume you're always a full capacity. The OBS car is better return investment after the fourth. Oh, of course he's moving. Of course he's every, every, every time someone says OBS, I just think of the broadcasting <laughs> I software. Know, yeah. I was like, what? Oh, they're on about the observation car. <laughs> I was like, what would opening OBS do for you in the game? <laughs> Confuses me as well. In that feed, Paul, you should be getting a bonus every time because you open, you have OBS open constantly. <laughs> OBS bonus. What are you doing up at Ella? Grabbing the empty cart that's got to come down to the interchange. Okay. I have to coordinate because I need to go to Ella. Uh, just come on up because I've got to do some shunting anyway because the cart I need was the first cart and there's also a new cart there so I need to move the new cart uh, to get to the old cart to put the new cart back. I hate Ella. Like Ella's sidings are just 
designed by an idiot. Matty! <laughs> 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 I love how he's your default go-to yeah. guy now. He can't even defend himself. He's not here. He's flying, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, in that case, I wonder where he's flying to, what altitude he's at, what tower his numbers are. Well, that's, what that's, that's Tom Hill, man. At. Yeah, Tom! Don't even have Tom's in the chat. <laughs> Yeah, tight rope, it's awful the way it's designed. Like this this section here is ridiculous. Like either that should merge to there or this should merge to there. There should be some option of getting around this much more easily. This design means you have to go forward, backward, forward. You know what I mean? It's just dumb. I wouldn't mind if they built it like that and then give you like optional jobs where you could buy some track and upgrade this, get like an extra piece put in. Yeah. Like, I don't mind that. Give us the option to make life more easy. It's a bit like the whole snow runner, can I remove some rocks and trees kind of thing. Oh, did you talk about snow run? Did you look at that first look off um, the new one, whatever it's called? I've forgotten already. Where was this posted? Um, I think it was posted in one of the Discord rooms. Are we on about Expeditions or Snow Run? That's the one. Expedition. I can't think what they named the new right. game. It's interesting. Is it? Yes. There should be features in that game that should be available in Snow Runner. <laughs> What, like cutting down trees? No, like ground anchors. Right. Well, they can do it because they're not multiplayer, right? True. It's, it's like the whole you can't have two connections to a vehicle in multiplayer. Hey, Tom. We were just wondering what altitude you're flying at, where you're flying to. What's your call sign, Tom? What parking stand are you at, Tom? I think that's fully loaded. Yes, it is. Feel free to make your way up here. Where are you going with all that night? Uh, yeah, to the bit where the logs fall into the water. <laughs> Whatever you call that bit. <laughs> Sawmill. Plus, it tells me when I hover over it. <laughs> I'm getting low on water. Wait, where's my uh, plane stopping? Oh, I'm not the only one. I've got 1,000 gallons left. Why's my train? Just randomly slowing down. No idea. Is somebody playing with the controls or? No, I'm on scroll three. I'm on four. What is it doing? Oh, the switch is against it. Really? Ugh. That's annoying. <laughs> it's, it's useful and annoying in equal quantity. And I wish you could just override it somewhere, maybe per train. Uh, I have two and a half tons of coal, that's fine. But the water is a bit of an issue. Yeah, I'm going to have to top mine up with water when I get And there's no up. water at Ella, so I, uh, I may get stuck. How much water do you have? 700 gallons. I'm being told oh, that I won't make it. Uh, well, I've got to go back that way, so I can always push you. 
<laughs> I've got him going up to Bryson, mate. It's a long way to Bryson, though. I don't have enough water for it. I've only got a thousand litres. <laughs> On the plus side, I think this is a downhill stretch, so we might be able to just float down here. There's three water towers at Bryson. That's good to if know. If he makes it. Yeah, as long as we're cruising, I don't burn much water, which is nice. Yeah, but I check your uh, water and coal tonight. Just hover over um, the tender, it'll show you. Five tons of coal, 2,519 yeah. gallons of water. You're fine. I'll definitely make it to Ella, but I don't know if I'll make it up to Bryson. If not, I'll be pushing you. <laughs> you <I>? will. <laughs> yeah. You will indeed. Just coast wherever I can. Alright, I'm approaching Ella. Yeah, you're good. I'm not on the main line. Is there any weather in this game? I'm sure I saw a setting for weather. If there is, I haven't seen any. And we're on what, day 10 or something? Slash weather, apparently. Because I've not seen it randomly change weather, and we've done like four days or something. This train is bound for Bryson. We may not have enough water, but if you'd like to purchase a ticket and travel with us today, feel free to do so. Gallons. I wish I had a siphon tube. I could just get some water out of yours. I think Discord's going again. Yeah, I was just going to say. Yay, Discord. Control F, checker. Wow, $24. You sound, you sound like a robot. <laughs> Oh, it's raining. I think they borrowed the idea from Punch Down, just overlay rain. Mm. Oh, cloudy one's overcast then. Oh, um, my God. <laughs> um, uh, that's interesting. Yep. Now, if we do clear sky, we don't have to put up with the annoying cloud anymore.
Right. Wish me luck. Good luck. 743 gallons of water. Is it enough? Well, you're already down to 739. And you've only just pulled away from the station. <laughs> it's probably a no, then. how much of this I could coast. I think it's uh, quite an uphill stretch, isn't it? I think so, yeah. I might leave the... The yeah, carriage that needs to go down to the interchange and just coast up there behind you. Just in case. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how we're going. It really depends how much of this I can coast. If not, you'll be waiting a while because I need to take that to the interchange and then come back and rescue you. Oh. Yep. Hi, Sam. How are you doing? I'm down to less than 700. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how we get on. I, I, I think it's doable, personally. But I don't know. If it suddenly goes uphill, then it's not. All you can do is try. If not, I can come and rescue you, can't I? Bit of a gradient going on now. I think it might depend how you operate the uh, the reversal as well. Yeah. You might waste less water depending on where you put that. This is the equivalent of putting your car in neutral and coasting to try and save fuel. <laughs> Is it hypermilin or something? So yeah, Probably. Whatever it's called, where you can see how much miles to the gallon you can get. No. Yep. The purpose of the game, Fizzy Jimmy, is to run a logistics company. You, you literally run a railroad, so you, you. There are bigger milestones across the map. Uh, other than that, you basically take on contracts at different industry and you move stuff around. But you've got to you've got to take, you know, like full cars to the industry. They will then process it, unload it, whatever, and then you bring the empty cars back to the interchange. All the while, making sure that you keep your vehicles in a good state of repair, keeping them loaded with coal and water. Occasionally, you have to supply yourself with coal. Yeah, and then obviously there's lots of single tracks, so you have to coordinate, and it's multiplayer. So you have to, like, not drive into each other and stuff. How's your water level? Uh, no, 675. I'm fine. Don't know what all the stress is about. I'm hypermiling. I reckon I'll get there with at least 400 left. And you know, how do you know that, Costa? The final goal is tier 5 contracts across the entire length of Andrew Silver. One community of follower has this and doesn't and does event nights where they have 30 players operating at the same time and they profit over a million a day. <laughs> that just sounds like chaos on one road track. Dude, that's pretty epic. The fact that this early access game allows 30 people to do that is pretty good. Where is the water tower at Ella, I wonder? Yeah, because isn't there a setting as well just to say people can only be passengers? Yeah, you can set them a roll when they join.
the water towers there. Yep. Okay, so working back from that. I have 670 gallons and I'm about a mile away, a mile and a half from Bryson. Oh, that's plenty. I think so. Now I might as well fill up on coal and water, Tyro. This appears to be downhill though, because I'm just picking up speed. Oh, wasn't that the 0.1% gradient? Yeah, but I think it's increased a little bit. 0.3. I thought somebody said it was uphill to Bryston, but it's not. Does the coal tower have coal? I think it will have some, probably on the conveyor. You know, like back at Whittier, it's probably got like two tons in it. And then we'll have to load it. I can only do that tomorrow when it spawns that gondola. Oh, it starts at 34. Nice. That's plenty. Mate, I'm nearly there and I've hardly used any. I'm still on 670 gallons of water. Lol. What was all the stress? Oh, you won't get there. You've no chance. So what we've established is chat is lying to us. Yep. So yesterday they didn't tell you about lunch. Yep. And today they're lying to you, honestly. Yep. That is disgraceful. <laughs> they just didn't. I keep saying to people, you, they're not taking into account the driver skill. It's a big factor. What's this lay business, pups? I'm new. <laughs> what's what? Because I said chat's lying to you. He's like, what are that? He's like, he said, wow, what's this? Because I'm new to the chat. I didn't say anything. Well Maybe one factor of pups derailing all the I've not derailed. Logs are done. Nice. Logs are done. I didn't derail because I wasn't sure how fast I could go, so I took my time. I was going to say, it took you a while. I was watching you come down the map. <laughs> no, I've, done it. I've been done it for a bit. I, I also topped it up and just sat and watched what you guys are doing. It's better than going full send and like... <laughs> That's what I, thought, I, thought I can guarantee I'll go around the corner and go, Oh, so that was too fast then. Let me just re-rail these 10 carts. It's 90% full, the sauna. Yeah, they, they do go through them a bit quicker now, though. Yeah, one's empty already. Because we've gone to tier two.
I could turn around. I don't know if I need to, but I could. Oh, look at that. Lovely water. Let's go. I'm topping up as well. I was down to 700. <laughs> Kev, thank you, 39. Or is it tell us how much is in that? 38 tons. That's all right. I take Where did you see that info? You just hover over it. But I'm assuming the gondola goes there, but it doesn't look like a loading bay. Do we just park like the gondola here? Yeah. It's not very obvious, is it? Like the other one's obvious because it has a clear chute and a conveyor belt, but this, this is just magic. The only logo you can't turn around is the bug. She's too big to fit. Oh, look at that. 4,000 gallons of water. Same. I've just filled. <laughs> same. I literally finished at exactly the same time. <laughs> Uh, the baby called two ton conveyor, which is the only one in that model. Right. They can only 115 tons. What the towers? Whoa. Whoa. Like the gondola only takes 50. Three bait gondola holds seventy. That's still not enough though, is it? Now, should I turn around? Is it useful? I don't know if it's necessarily useful if I'm honest. I could try for the lols. Was it that one, I think? There we go. Nice game. Yeah, it's quite fun. A little bit rough around the edges, but it's uh, fundamentally good. I don't know if there's a roadmap or if diesel is coming to the game anytime. You can buy the EMD SW1 and the EMD GP9 diesels. Four axle diesel electric and a switcher diesel logo. As for roadmap, I have no idea. And 
that's full. Zero active bills in the area. Interesting. Just because everything's cleaned up. Yep, we might have to um, consider our next move here. Do we skip the day or run operations, get more money? Like, how do we do it? I think the two of the lock things are already empty. I think I missed it. Did anyone say whether there was a roadmap or not? Uh, Costa was looking, I think. Okay, uh, so the Bryson lumber and coal will start tomorrow. That's going to generate coal things on a tier two. I don't know whether to take the Appalachian hardwood or just see how we get on with lumber. Um, look at that location one. Is it really to go? The what, sorry? The Appalachian hardwood. Is set up at Bryson, it's like West Bryson basically. Oh yeah. Appalachian oh. at tier three is only two, three cars daily initially, a day. Let's take it on tier two tomorrow and see what we get. Also, as if I can say that word, but not Pacific. <laughs> so, fan, I'm special. Yeah. Special. Uh, we can skip day if you want. There's not much left. Dear. It's now 1 p.m. So some logs may have been emptied. All empty now. There you go. So if you pull uh, it out onto the main line, you can then tell the AI to drive it up there if you set the points correctly. I mean, you can't yet. Yeah. There's still four that needs empty. In. Oh, I thought you said they're all empty. No, four, four empty. Four empty. Four out of eight. Uh, night. If you disconnect from there, disconnect your train. There's four. Um, uh, not gondolas. Carriages to the right of you. That can need to be pushed back to the interchange. Yep. One's the other side of the sun. Yeah. I'll... Just make you sure you put a handbrake on the front one of those cars. I don't know where it shows our rep. I mean, we did take a rep damage because of the derail and stuff. And Pup's deliberately driving straight into my gondola. You just Did it, like, you drove into him, yeah. No! No, he reversed into me, to be clear. He damaged the tender on the back of his no, train no, no, and no, the gondola. Why would you do that? Very nice. Railroad tab, your packs. What am I looking at? Packs network service. 67%. Because you didn't service Bryson yesterday. What? No. <laughs> I never even knew that was a thing that you had to service them. Oh, that's amazing. Wait, so they get antsy with you if you don't take them around the place. I love it. Get 100% packs right, you need to pick up at least one passenger from every station at least once a day. 
Right, so you need to make a run down through every station, which is three at the moment. That's going to take a while the longer you, the more you expand. Well, you can get the AI to drive it and then just jump there and flick the fuse and send it on. It's not terrible. And if you've only got to do it once a day, that's fine. So basically one station knocked us down 30% rep. Yep. That's absurd. Operation safety. That's going to take time to come back. But yeah, that basically causes a dent in our overall rep, doesn't it? Yeah. However, why did our equipment... You said our equipment discount had dropped from 25 to 5%. That seems like a lot. Jack Sims is now playing City Skylines. Exclamation mark rules. Base cost went down from 25 to 20. Equipment went from 10 to 5. Hmm. Face cost is the milestone discussion. Uh, does who, no, who know the rules of the game, Captain Flint? Jack Sims. Oh, right. Yeah, not only that, Alucast, you're in a bright pink coach with a headlamp shining right in your face, a bell and a whistle going off constantly. Yeah, it's a great way to travel. Right, that doesn't mean you need to press the bell. <laughs> I'll do the switches for you. You go forward. like over the top whistling and bell noise oh yeah I've got to put the fusey back in now don't I let me guess I mean, it'd be kind of nice if it said, uh, you know, SQRL2 AI driver engineer is slowing down incorrect points, and then I could just go there and set it rather than it, it yeah. slows down forever. Then eventually it stops, and then when it stops, it then reports the problem. Like if it told you when it's slowing down for the problem, that would be better. Like, remember to shift click when you attach the air hoses. You had no air going to your carriages. I did shift click. Well, it was closed. I just opened them. Hmm. 
I had a weird bug. The front of my train kept leaving the angle cock open every time, even though I was shift clicking. So. I want more doors on these cars so they get off quicker. Lol. It's like one person a second. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Regarding the AI packs thing, there's a mod that allows you to select which station you want to train to stop at in road mode. It doesn't set points, but it does go back and forth until it's low on fuel. You see, that's that's how the game should be. Yeah, we don't have the control screen yet. The control screen costs quite a bit of money. 8000 just to start it. 10,000 in total. We've only got 8,000. I mean, get a loan, but we need to buy more stuff soon, I think. I just keep reversing, night. 10k minus a discount. One out of the top end, yeah. A reputation <laughs> discount. Currently working on it was posted about a month ago. All right, cool. Ka-ching! Right, do you want to skip a couple of hours of time, Paul? See so if we can get these logs unloaded. Try that. Uh, there's still seven logs. Seven logs? That's... Uh, don't think you're going to do that in time, mate. I need to get this car down the road. Yeah, no worries. Okay, that's as many as we can do. Hey, do you want to go back to your, your logs tonight? Yes. Forward. There is a plan to do that for the road mode as well, stated by one of the mods in Discord. Okay. It's not really a problem when you miss your train when you can run at 35 miles per hour. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why well, do I need to buy a ticket? Well, I'll race you though. <laughs> I can even run backwards and do this. Woohoo! <laughs> Show off. <laughs> it is literally Usain Bolt. Well, we should have plenty of jobs tomorrow. The question is, do we have enough locos? Yeah, we'll get it done. You reckon? Yeah. We all have the skills to pay the bills. New day report available. What's available? A new daily report. Network service is 67% still. Freight performance is 100%. Operation What's the report? Safety. Oh, there it is. Operation safety is 82%. $2,000 in freight. That's not bad. Still, when you consider, like, a passenger car costs $8,000, yeah, no. and we're doing $300 in total of passenger, it seems like it just isn't worth it. on a massive tea break. 
There's nothing we can do. <laughs> We're sitting by the lake, you know, That's taking what the scenery. Say. Yeah, we've we got a lake view, got a cup of tea. So they, all say. they just all stand around in a circle going, yeah, well, there's only one person can fit in the hole digging, so we just got to stand there. Yeah, but We're Tyro, when we get to Silver, the interchange moves all the way down to Silver. Also, we're not slackers. There is genuinely nothing we can do. The freight is where it's at. You make more money on the freight. The passengers, you just do one run of packs to keep them happy, I reckon, and the money is in freight. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 100%. Lighting. It's even worse where I am. Like some of the lighting looks really good, and then you just look at the clouds and you're like, eh. Higher contracts, the number of packs goes up, so it kind of scales. Hmm. How do you get higher tier packs contracts, though? I say a freight contracts in the same area it means more passengers, right? Oh my god, just stop already. Logs unloaded. One to go. Are the logs unloaded. Left. One to go. No one log left to go. <laughs> no. Can confirm there is one left. That must be a capacity problem then. It has to be. It's hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. You got to wait for it to create space. I just waited an hour, Tyro, and it didn't do it. What about now? Still. See, he lied. More chat lies. <laughs> Empty. Well, there's no physical log on it, but it's not shut. Oh, there you go. Ready to go now. 99% of the storage, so yeah. It should be, if you pull it back to the main. Send it on its way. Nights off on his travels. Hmm. See, I'm going to need to come down to the interchange for the cars. There's some stuff I need to take to Bryson. Yeah, oh, you got another like seven hours before that, anyway. Can't see a thing.
It's great. Because <laughs> I've got a passenger car in front of me. I, I don't benefit from having a lantern at all. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I'll stop here. Actually, I can go down to there. i got to wait for the load train to go past. The newest driver to go past, yeah. Are you going to AI it up there or are you going to um, drive it? Might as well drive it until there's something else for me to do. Well, it's a nice easy task. As soon as you're gone, I'm going to skip time. Forward, night. Go forward. Contract with Bryson is now it's. What was that? Now it's here too. Appalachian Hardwoods and Bryson Tier 2. Cool. Um, pups. No, you're fine. Just go. <laughs> What's okay. Up? Just go. I see, I thought I was staying on the main line, but apparently I'm going to, you know. It literally goes to the main line. It's, it all goes into one track. I've seen it. I've set your point at the triangle. I'm just going to stop here and wait for the log train. Oh, Kedelk. Power, Knight. Power. I don't know what the limit is. About 30. Maximum. Taking me hours to do that little bit there, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it took you half the night to do about 100 meters there, night. Oh, you're slow. <laughs> what speed are you doing? 27.7 at the moment, increasing. Okay, I'd slow for this sharp turn if I was you. Maybe get to about 25. Going through that switch. Nice yeah. carriage you've got there, Paul. Do you like it? Especially if you look where the sun's hitting it. <laughs> it's like a luminous pink. Yep. <laughs> well, you have signalling, SG, but you have to unlock it via a milestone. And it's expensive, isn't it? Like where you put in the... Oh, look at that. 105% rep. It's oh, like yeah. It. One minute till the refreshes. So we now have a 25% phase discount, which means if we take the milestone, we now save an extra $500. Good guy. Should we spend the money on that signal or spend it on locos and cars? What do you think? I say go for the signal. We got, we've got the cars we've got will do for now. And it's just refreshed. Um, I thought you selected an option so they didn't all group together. I didn't change any option. Right, I've bought the signaling milestone, so uh, tonight they'll deliver the four cars to the Bryson Freight House. Oh, we've got to deliver the four cars. So yeah, they'll, they'll appear at the interchange tonight. Right, here's seven cars for you to take up your way. Okay. And then I need to grab the... Which track are they on? They're all on line two. Two, okay. I'll go to main line and then come back onto two. Are they at the back? Yours will be at the back, so if you just go down the main line, you can yep. push them. Uh, and then I'll grab the ones I need out of the way. I need to take that gondola as well. Because that gondola needs to go to Bryson. And yeah, that's in the middle of all your things. Uh, no, the one that's on track three, that was the gondola that got filled last night, isn't it? Oh, yeah, sorry, I didn't see that one. That's the Bryson gondola, so I might as well take that as well. Yeah, no, it's... I need to grab these and then move these off that track.
A lot of stuff for Bryson here. <laughs> oh, see that checkers. Bryson is green, Ella is green, yellow, Whittier is yellow. Kind of Bigfoot, but you still have to get involved. Like, the AI is pretty dumb. It's more of an A to B thing. Right, have you detached? So everything here is for me, yeah? Yeah, everything on that track's for you. Cool. Yeah, Bryson is green indeed. This is heavy. Oh, ho, ho. Now it's like. <laughs> it's now slowly it's picking up speed. I might as well stop at Whittier Depot and get some packs. Yeah, that it way does I can... look very heavy, Paul. Oh, yeah. 667 tons, mate. I don't know what the rating is on this thing, but we'll find out. Go back and find that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a total gross weight. I get that, but it's still what it's got to move, right?
Yeah, it's just not going to be a speedy service. I'm up to a full 18 miles an hour. Whoa! Battle logs are ready, done. Noise. Well, I'll be across the triangle way before you get here. I'm just waiting for them to load. I don't know how long they take to load. Um, quite a while. Can't remember what the rate is. Well, to be honest, from I hope they do model the air brakes better at some point. I'm up to a 22 miles per hour pups. Breaking the sound of speed there, Paul. It's genuinely slow. Speeding up a bit. The WAF file changed to WAF file 3. I wonder if that weight will go up. Hey, that's interesting. The weight's gone down by a ton because we've been burning coal and water. I was wondering if when the packs get on, do you see any weight change? Not that I've been made aware. we got we've got quite a few packs here 50 for bryson whoa damn 50 that's a lot of people yeah. that aren't moving so our reputation's going up they're like hey yeah we should really consider uh, traveling with seriously quick railroad logistics Just take a while to load, though, doesn't it? We can't get them all, all of them on the passenger thing. There's going to be about four people can't get on. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Four people can't get on. <laughs> oh, my God. This does not want to move. Let's put it into max torque and it might help. Yeah, I reckon if they'd have, like, the problem is they all want to sit down, don't they? If you'd have had standing room as well, you'd be fine. A few people on the roof, a few hanging off the back. Yeah, you could have done it easy. Yep, I don't think we'll make it to Bryce. We'll make it to Ella, maybe. Stop for lunch. Oh, 
Oh, what, fell to? Today, Paul. Yeah, yeah, the money me today. It felt guilty now, you see. Oh, you're slow. Uh, it's just you, Artemis. It says 665 ton. Afternoon, Paul and chat. Can't believe it's been over nine years since I first subbed you when I was first allowed a debit card at 17 years old. Sclerofe, been a follower before then. Whilst I haven't been able to watch live for quite some time, I enjoy watching the VODs from time to time. Thanks again for the amazing content and community Paul slash mods and wish you all the best for 2024. I love stories like that. Thank you, JTB. People are like, oh, first up to you when I first got my debit card. It's brilliant. Thanks for your support, JTB. Of the weight, this. Nope, I won't be going on time. We might be a few minutes late getting into Ella. I think. I get your kebab next time I see you, Dave. I don't know. He likes going to Vegas. Gets all the steaks. Comes home. Complains he wants kebabs. Just no plea. He's such a diva, Dave. Honestly. Yeah, I agree. There's just no pleasing you. It's because he's clean shaven. That's why. That's it. Makes him a diva. Oh, it might be that Intel CPU. One on two. Sounds about right, Bigfoot. Oh, look at that. Managed to almost reach 30. <laughs> hey, 30. What's in the sound barrier over here? Make sure you bring room temperature water with a slight hint of Himalayan salt, a lemon slice into one sixteenth and three cherries. Pops is making a note now, Dave. Am I? In June, it'll be 10 years since I first followed Mr. Squirrel. Nice one, official James. Oh, I'm actually going to exceed the speed limit here. Three o'clock. We're almost in Ella. Noise. The sheer momentum of this thing, it just keeps, like, I, I can just back off the throttle and it just keeps going. That juicy $2 per car timely bonus. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that.
many? There we go. Right, how many is here? 42. Gentlemen, we have a problem. What, that we, we ain't got enough space for the passengers? Yeah, I don't think there's that many going to get off. I'm gone. Yep, 14 got off, 25 want to get on. Yeah, but it, even so, it's still not worth another $8,000 on a car yet. We're better off spending that money on freight cars. Like, all we care about right now is just doing a run and getting the rep. We're going to make money on freight. Right, that's full. I am going to save. That is it. It's break time. Two minutes late, but not bad. Better than yesterday. <laughs> right, guys, I shall be back in an hour with um, Pups and Knight. You join in later, right? Mm. Thank you for letting me join. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, yeah, back in an hour. Just going to go and grab some food, and uh, we'll carry on shortly. Uh, see where this goes. Right, that's it for me. Take it easy, guys. Bye for now. Yo, welcome back. Just loaded in. Right, it's still loading. There we go. Lovely. Like a right, let's get moving. Let's go to Bryson. We're actually going that way. <laughs> Backwards. <laughs> It'll be fine. Actually, I think what I might do is I might get the AI to drive for now. Road reverse. Where's the... Uh... Yeah. Let's get that to drive for now, and then I can do all the... I don't want to check out where we're going and stuff. Let it have fun driving that. Uh, it's trigger finger. Thank you for five months. Healy, thank you for 52. Uh, Stargazer, thank you for 27. Infinity, also thank you for 27. Jane Taylor, 54. He's so noisy, isn't he? Shut up. Right, we've got to take these the Bryson Colling Tower. That's going to go Bryson Cohen's out. That's going to Hardwoods. The first lot. Okay, game. No cross selected. The first one is going to the Bryson Freight House FR1. And then the Bryson Team BR1. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting drop. Bryson Freight House FR1. that which is okay so we can get that get to that via the sidings by the look of it it's here uh, let's see so if we flick that over to there that'll take us down that track so yeah we just need to keep Right all the way through here. Right, how do we get over there? That's the question. Blimey. Okay. I think that should do it. That'll take us right there. Right here. Right there. We're going to keep that way to here. Then we're going to go that way. And I believe that's where we want to be. Assuming I got that right, we should be good. All right, let's drag down Pops and Knight. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. Frosty Falls, I think of a 91 months. I've enjoyed your lunchtime. Dude, I had... I had spaghetti bolognese, which was fine. The better garlic bread, that was nice. And then Mrs. Scrooge was like, right, dessert. Would you prefer homemade cake, homemade cake with jam, um, homemade cake with custard and banana, 
I was like, whoa, there's too many options. I just went, I'll have homemade cake with custard. Now, if you know me, you'll know that I just want like a piece of cake and then just a bowl of custard. That's how yeah. I roll. Yeah, yep. it, it needs to be floating on the custard. Yeah, yeah. What, what I get was a bowl that has a lot of cake in it. And as soon as I got it, I went, whoa, 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 whoa. The custard to cake ratio is all off here. What's going on? Like, did, she went, there's custard underneath. I said, it's way too much cake. Anyway, so I started eating it. I got halfway through. I was like, oof, this will get a bit full here. A lot of cake. And uh, I got right near the end. She looked over. She went, see, you've eaten it all. I went, yes, but I literally feel like I want to explode right now. <laughs> that was way too much cake. So, <laughs> So right now, I really do feel overeaten. <laughs> but other than that, I had a good lunch. Very nice. What about you, Tim? What did you do? Um... Oh, I can't remember last night. Oh yeah, what you got camel latte, didn't you? Oh, I had two cups of tea. And then told my mum that she has to put some potatoes on for my tea. She okay. was in the kitchen peeling potatoes anyway, so I just said, could you put an extra saucepan on for me? Today, Paul you... learns how the locomotives fit 50 tons of coal in a IRL 11 ton tender. Now, what's going to happen is I'm going to leave the gondola there and it'll just take it when it wants it. And that'll be there for a long time, I suspect. And I think it's in the, the tender's six ton and the tower is 150, something like that. Oh, you was meaning the cake story. Gotcha. <laughs> also, Cool Tiger, why should I make you a cup of tea? Do you make us any? No. Are you telling, pups? Well, we're right. Don't be like, where's our cup of tea? You never bring us drinks. So professional on that whistle and bell, isn't it? <laughs> By the book. How big is this map? It is from mile mark of 46. To mile mark of 98. So what's that? 50 odd miles? Plus all the bits of track. Yeah. Going off left, right and centre. It's big enough. Too clear for you to come down the line. It's good because I'm kind of already on my way. Head of the game. I'm just getting to the sharp end. The pink passenger train. Lovely. Drive this in a second. No. It's 
the wrong bit. I need that. Prepare destination not set. I, I just don't get how it's conditioned, but can still be 100%. No I, I think, well, it only takes damage if you ram into it or stop, which also makes no sense. Yeah, because some, there's no wear and tear. Yeah. Why did it put a load of brake? Uh, does it use more steam than the same as the Western, you reckon? No clue. It's kind of hard to measure. NSR, thank you for 51 months. Beautiful new emotes. <laughs> thank you, sir. Right, how many am I dropping off here? Great house, just those two. Oh, that one goes up with that, huh? They go 0.3 miles that way. Eh? Well, these two cars only just fit into that very small drop space. Also, the game restart in the break has took a load of cars off the switch list. Is it? Yep, I've re had to re-add eight now. Must auto clear it then. They're both on there, I think. Well, I also cleared because the carts that were down at the uh Sawmill were no longer on the list. Oh, there's one of these as a scumbag drop off. Nice one, Bell Ranch. Went for a cup of back with cake. Bonus. <laughs>
Watch money is he live on YouTube now on Twitch? Noise. Down to 521 tons on this thing. <laughs> Still pretty heavy. There's one drop that I've, I think I have to put in backwards, which is going to be a right faff. Let's come around the back of the whole train. I'm on the single piece of track up to LR. I really want to just like disconnect this and it's impossible. There we go. <laughs> just gotta keep it interesting. I hope it's got enough momentum to get there. I might have done it too early. <laughs> it's a high risk, high reward scenario. <laughs> I kind of looked at the, the terrain and it was zero. So I thought, well, it'll roll there, right? That's the plan. The main tricky part about this is going to be trying to click on the handbrake. Alipa, thank you for 65. <laughs> Save myself a bit of work. Good eye. Now we can drop these off. And I think the next one is the pain. This one wants to go, yeah, into that stupid location. is all of these are going to have to be collected later and taken back to the uh, interchange. Yep. Right then, so this to put that there, I'm going to have to Oh, we've got to push it out there somehow. I could just go around the back of the consist. Where are these going? Oh, God, that's going there. Okay. So it's those two then. 
That is going to the west. That's going to the west. Okay, I think we'll detach these rear two, get around the back and move them. Is what we'll do. However, the Pax car is a little bit in the way. Hmm. Okay. I think I has a plan. Trying to create the shortest route as well. Uh, right, let's go forward a little bit. This is where it would actually be nice to have another loco up here. If somebody else could help move these things around. Yeah, and I'm nowhere near you. <laughs> Well, I'm we don't, further away. We don't have another local either. Okay, that's what we'll do. Hardy by Locos, press Shift T. And it brings up the store and you just go through, pick what you want. Purchase, get a discount if you have a better rep. Click him. Lol. Literally can't click it. It's really annoying. Oh, I just need the right pixel.
believe this goes here at the back of the tower. Back with the kebab. Don't tell pups I want one. No. You bought a kebabs? No, I just don't find it sea warm. You don't look like one either. What? I said you don't look like one either. No, I don't, to be honest. I look more like a pizza. <laughs> if you was a food, what food would you be? I'd be a pizza. <laughs> That's what you're saying. Yeah. What kind of pizza? Cheese and tomato? How did you know, Paul? It's nine, nice and simple pizza. If you was ice cream, you'd be vanilla, wouldn't you? Oh, no, I like raspberry ripple. I do like banana-flavoured ice cream. Or salted caramel. Can we not move that in third person, can we? Apparently not. Boxes. Really? Really, game? Inside logo hitbox needs to be. I can't see the hitbox. <laughs> It's asking me to put something in here that I can't see. I love how it just refuses to turn. Like it's got some inbuilt safety mechanism. It just can't keep up at the speed that we need to operate. Uh, Notorious Mo, thank you for five years. Happy anniversary. Shunting, so much fun. Have you played uh, Port CEO quite a few times? The previous patch would let you throw your loco into the stratosphere. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Playing construction simulator. I'm playing railroader.
It's the same with every game, Captain Flint, quite honestly. Oh. Uh, look carefully what this track is first. Wait, what? I'm not sure what you mean. Tom, thank you for 85 months. Can I play flight sim? No. <laughs> Only if we know your flight level, call sign, Tom. What altitude you using at? What airline? What plane? What one way? What parking spot? What one way? Yeah, what runway? What? No, what one way? What one way? Where, 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 it? Where, 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 we're on the one way? Yeah, where, 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 we're on the one way? That should be a song. Well, 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 we're on the one-way wind well. One-way zero, zero left. Got it, Tom. One-way one zero left. <laughs> <laughs> Almost starting to sound like a tongue twister. You sound like that, uh, that guy that was after Bugs Bunny. You say you pesky wabbit. Oh, yeah, 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 I know what you're on Elmer about. Elmer Fudd. He was quite small as well, funnily enough. I seem to remember. Little he guy. was, yes. Yes, he was. But he said one way, one zero. One way, one zero. One way west. One way west. The wild wild web on the one way. Just get paid a fortune for all this something. Bring back the empty coal offer. Is it empty already? Oh, the incline. What the? Eighty-six dollars. Woo! Right, I need to work out. These are going to the Appalachian Hardwood. I need to work out whether to be at the front or the back of them. Where does it want to go? It doesn't really say. That one, that one, that one, okay. And we're coming from that direction, I think. So I need to be at the front, I believe. Yes. What are you guys doing? I uh, just dropped off the farming wagon thingy to the LS station siding. And that is everything on the stock list apart from what you're doing, Don. You need me to... God, it has emptied that already. It's a skip time or anything. Uh, I'm not sure, but are them... All of them ones you just took up there on the hit, the hit list or whatever it's called? Uh, I don't Bitch. know if they are. I'll teleport up there and stop the shit. See, Hopper needs moving back now. I thought I can bring that with me when I bring the packs.
I put all of these on the switch list before the break, and now they're not on it. Yeah, you must remove them with a, a shutdown server. Right, they should all be back on it. Yep. Have any ratted, I think? Yeah. Yeah, all there. So we're saying that gondola's not ready to move. It looks like it is. Mind you, it's transparent, so it's in the right place. Oh, it's still got 14 tons. It's still empty. It'll be empty by the time we get back, I think. Is Pup still in the same crew? I think it remembers you, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it, re it remembered the crew and everything, it just took some yeah. Remembers some that. stuff off the, the switch list. Oh my god, there's a hundred passengers waiting here. <laughs> 79 want to go to Whittier. If you want, I could spawn a another PAX car down there if you want to. If, you, if you're bored. Actually, have we got enough money? Well, I could. I'll have to borrow. It's up to you. Give. Oh. I Which suppose it would give Knight on. some experience of going up that way. I don't mind at the moment, I'm just sat waiting for the logs to empty. I'm more than happy to head that way. Well, pick up the thing first and then head that way. What I think of controls, the look of the UI. They're fine. They're workable. It's nothing like as bad as Railroad's Online clunkiness. Right, where do we need to go here? That's the question. Left. Don't know about the dispatch yet because we haven't unlocked it. It's on the mission list for tonight. All right, that's me topped up with water. Three dollar timely bonus. We're going to get rich with those bonuses. Really, night. <laughs> really, oh. he's just sat there ringing his bell. <laughs> Wasn't there a song? Picnic's, picnic's waiting for you, pups. Mm-hmm. engine whistle
Oh, I hate that I can't couple it easily on the move. It's just annoying. Three dollars wouldn't even buy you a latte these days. I might just about buy you a filter coffee. It depends where in the UK you was. Oh, you can get cost like two pounds, I think, for a filtered coffee at the moment. You can get a McDonald's coffee because they're known for their quality. <laughs> Freshly brewed every day. Oh, I haven't got that coffee shop thing they're trying now. McCaff. Oh, they're opening dedicated coffee shops. In hey, McDonald's? Yes. Oh, they're trying yeah. to break into that market, are they? Gonna go well. It's got sixty packs and there's eighty three waiting. <laughs> <laughs> right, is that gondola ready yet? Yep, actually I should probably go up too late. As far as I am concerned, all coffee tastes like mud because it has been in the ground. Huh? Wait, what? Well, I mean I could tell you about the other coffee that's that you can buy. I know which one you're going to say. The one that's <laughs> been digested and comes out from the poo. That's the one. It's quite expensive. Very expensive. Also, I raise a question to that point about you've all coffee. Have you tried all the coffee? I don't think so. But doesn't coffee come out of beans which grow above ground? Yes. Yeah. They don't grow in the ground. Yes. Like potatoes. They grow in the ground, don't they? They do, indeed. And they make chips and fries and That's stuff. That's a good point. So do, do you not eat chips or fries or crisps? or? No, apparently not. Read the post again. I think you misread it, pups. Let's go that way, that way. That way, that way. Oh, yeah. It's been ground 10 minutes ago. No, it's been in the ground. Not sure how you misread that, Sean. Because I'm special. <laughs> I don't really have an answer to that. <laughs> the stage to recovery is admitting that you've got a problem. I have a lot of problems. Like, where do you want me to start? <laughs> um, I'm, yeah, the stream's not long enough, mate. We'll leave it for now. PC Gaming, I, I say to people, you go to Starbucks if you like a bit of coffee with your hot milk. That's what I think of Starbucks. That coal tower now has 84 tons of coal in it. It doesn't matter if what I post gets misread, besides I don't drink co any coffee at all, lol. So he could, he could not drink coffee because it's been in the ground. You never know. I mean, the best coffee is like 
ground and then made into coffee. It's always no, going to be fresher really. that way. But then the fresher the beans are as well, the better the flavour. They've just been roasted. Yeah. Oh. Ground of the made into a drink of coffee. Tea room coffee is the best. Coffee, milk, and sugar, please. None of this latte americano nonsense. Thank you very much. <laughs> Amazing. There are a large variety of ways to have coffee. That's for sure. Still yet to try coffee. Really? Oh, come yeah. on. No, I've never tried coffee. You won't like it. Okay. I'm oh, not going to... Oh, God, sorry. I'm going to start just to walk I'm just saying, I love how people get shocked when I haven't tried something with the amount of stuff people ask if I've tried and I just go, no. At this <laughs> point, it shouldn't shock people. I find espresso coffee too strong for me. I know people who love it, but I don't I don't like it. It's too bitter for me. Even when you add brown sugar, it's still meh. Um, I, made, I made that mistake in France. The services. I was going to say, isn't that the one in France where it's like tar? Yeah, you put your spoon in it and it stands up. Espresso is like, if you like the raw coffee, it's, it's very strong. Not much water to it. From that, you generally dilute it, right? So you add hot water to it, more hot water, and you'll end up with an Americano, for example, or you then add milk to it, and that's more of a standard coffee. But then there's, if you play with the ratios of espresso, water, and milk, or just espresso, milk, and froth, you end up with lots of different coffees. You end up with Cortado, which is like a Spanish version, where they don't have much milk. Like the ratio is one espresso, and then it's like two hot milk, and that's it. Whereas if you go flat white, it's more of a three milk to one coffee ratio. So there's more milk in it. So you get like a weaker flavor, but it's more pleasant to, to people. And then if you start doing one third espresso, one third hot milk, one third froth, you end up with a cappuccino. A latte is more like one espresso and then about six or seven or even eight milk and no froth on top. So it's very milky. So it does depend on how strong you like the flavor of the coffee and how much you like milk. Because Starbucks is more like one espresso to 500 milk. So you end up with a gallon of milk with a bit of coffee in it. And then they just serve it you in a cup. At least that's what it tastes like to me. And that concludes your educational tag for today's stream. <laughs> Thank you for the education, Paul. I appreciate it. Anyway, you wouldn't like espresso. There's no way you'd like it. Like, It's a bit like saying you'd like whiskey just out the door. You're not. You're just not. Oh, you it's mean in a, a shot glass, yeah? It's an acquired taste. Whiskey in a shot glass, got it. You prefer two-shot Americano with a bit of cream? Yeah, I don't... Cream is not something I have in coffee a lot, but it is. it can be quite nice. 
funnily enough, full fat milk with coffee tends to sort of um, whiten it and flavour it much more quickly than, say, skimmed milk. And even something like oat milk or almond milk, you have to add quite a bit of it just to lighten the colour. Personally, I, I, I like flat whites as my go-to. I really like Cotardo, but until recently, I've not seen it in many places. But I did, when we was in London, see that they started serving Cotardo now. So I don't know what that is. I just explained it all, mate. I literally, five minutes ago, explained it, but never mind. We'll clip it for you. It just got to web page. There's literally a web page that just lists it all with all the ratios and stuff. But it's a strong. It's somewhere in between an espresso and a flat white. It's okay, a okay. it's a strong Spanish coffee. Really nice when it's done properly. If you like strong flavored coffee. I see. And if you don't, go to a flat white as your next, until you find out it's not too strong for you. I think you should try potato milk in your coffee. No thanks. Oat milk I like in coffee, funnily enough. Almond milk I don't like. If you like a milky coffee, start with a latte. And then work work down. If you found it's too milky, just work backwards from that. I love how Andy Lad's like, what? Yeah, you can get potato milk. You can get goat's milk, but nobody puts that in coffee either. <laughs> yeah, but you should just try it for the educational purposes. Yeah. What flavour do I like in my coffee? I, I don't... If you're on about syrups and things, I don't do any syrups in coffee. I don't like them. I just like the coffee. Whereas uh, Knight, for example, he likes his caramel latte. Mrs. Squirrel, she <laughs> loves all those different flavoured lattes. Like, literally next to the kettle, there's three little squirty things of different flavours. So, she doesn't have milk in her coffee. She, I'll basically put a squirt at that end. That's how she likes her coffee. But I'm, I don't like it. And I don't like liqueurs either. You know, where they put alcohol with chocolate. Like chocolate liqueurs. I don't like that either. I've hated that since I was a kid. I may have a bean to cup machine with a modern caramel syrup pump next to it. I'm not oh, surprised. You do. I'm not surprised. Oh, if, you're, you do. if it's how you like it, that's how you like it. It's just not for me. Next step in coffee machines, though, is powered by AI. Coming soon to an Amazon store near you. Other shops are available. Oh, I was watching a video about CES. Like just random AI product things, God. and this, the one that got me was an AI-powered mattress. There's something that Ella that can come back to eat with her. I don't like Irish coffee either. I'm, I'm quite boring when it comes to coffee. I like coffee, milk. That's it. Uh, the Whitler sawmill, we might just leave for now, Mike. It's stuck in the middle. What was that? Five carriages. Are you on about me? No, put uh, Knight. I was just saying there's something at Ella that can that is ready to come back. According to the switch. Wait, I'm curious. What is this AI mattress about? What does it do? Yeah, no, I wasn't going to look at that one. Please. Let's have a bit about it. Yeah, but briefly, what does it do? It would use your brain power whilst you're sleeping. Wait, what? So when you lay on it, it uses AI to contour to your body, supposedly making 
Right, so hang on, it's adjusting all the springs in the mattress or something. So it's like an active suspension for your bed. It's made of airbags, right, okay. So it is literally just an active mattress, it's not an AI mattress. Yeah, I kind of feel like that's not the right use of the word AI. I kind of feel like it's just a bunch of sensors, airbags, and it's going to monitor what you're pressing and then provide more lift. So it just adapts to your shape. It's algorithmic. It's not AI. It's not going to sit there learning about the shape of your body because it's not going to change, is it? I don't know. It just sounds a bit weird to me, that one. Wait, why are we still on 59 packs? I'm up. Okay. AI doesn't need to learn is true and not true at the same time. So for it to be AI, it either has to learn and adapt, or it's already been trained, and then they've baked it, which is effectively what the um, uh, what was that Xbox thing they had? It was it was basically a baked AI sensor that used to sense the movement of your body for the Xbox. That was oh, trained on yeah. lots and lots and lots of data, and then when they were happy with the with the neural nets, they baked it into a chip. It was still technically AI, connect, thank you. It was still AI, but it had already been trained. It wasn't then learning afterwards. So when you say AI doesn't need to learn, it does. It either has to be learn to build the net and then be baked, or it has to be trained on in an ongoing way, if you see what I mean. But either way, it has to learn at some point, otherwise it's not AI. I feel like a lot of products these days just have AI on for it because it's like the go-to term. It totally is. It's like the pulled pork back in the day, wasn't it? Everything suddenly had to be pulled pork because it was a new in thing. Yep. It's so, my, uh, it used to be VR before that. <laughs> Everything was VR, VR, VR. All these 3D TVs, 3D that. Look where that went. It's it just been nowhere. Oh, flat on the ground, <laughs> isn't it? Just industries, they do love a, a good buzz, don't they? <laughs> yep. It was that popular at CES. There was a whole floor dedicated to AI. And NVIDIA probably paid for most of it. I do love that thing we watched today with NVIDIA. What, the clearly they... obvious AI host? Yes. I do like the AMD's partner, though, with their AI one, Hugging Face. Hugging face. Was that called hugging uh, face? Yeah, hugging face. And their logo was amazing. But yeah, that clearly AI thing on NVIDIA was so obvious. Yeah, E3 is dead. You know, I've been dying for years. It's a shame, though, because I always wanted to go to E3 at some point. <laughs> moving to them like showcases now like playstation showcase like that's the reason showcase, yeah. yeah that's that's the real reason it's collapsed because so. i don't want to pay for the floor space do they yep they don't want to pay and then they don't want to present things live either they've worked out that yep. it goes wrong so they'd rather pre-record it all and then just broadcast it it was like the back in the day with the bethesda devs they used to get him on the stage, and people used to ask him questions, and they had to answer stuff they're not meant to. <laughs> it's 
Some of the showcases, though, they put on are quite fun to watch. Yeah, I think it depends. Like, it's... The thing is, like, from NVIDIA's perspective, they're always talking about stuff that's not yet out. Yeah. So they're... It works for them in that sense. They can just talk about all the stuff uh, that's coming. But if you're, say, a mobile phone manufacturer, you kind of want your products in front of people. Yeah. And especially if they know that you're going to put the latest and greatest in front of them that's just about to be available. And you can pick it up, play with it, use it. You need to have your products in front of people. You need to go to the shows. Whereas NVIDIA, with what they do, they don't need to turn up with graphics cards for you to pick up and look at. Yeah, but it's, a, it's Apple do the same, don't they? They do their keynote speechy thingy. Yep, they do. But then they also guarantee at the end of it that whatever they show you, it's going to be available yeah. with the exception of their augmented reality thing. Pretty much everything they show you is available within a few weeks to order. So they don't show you things that are like way down the line yeah. apart from that AR stuff. I feel like that journey has taken you forever. <laughs> well, I've had to do quite a multi drop up there. Like, that was quite involved, yeah. that was. <laughs> Can you stop it? I literally know that you're messing with the control. No, I'm not. Well, you're either not, or you're lying, or no, somebody I'm is. Not. I'm but the bell and the that. horn just keep coming on, and it's definitely not me. It's not me. I haven't yeah. enough scroll free. Mm hmm. Look at the logs. What does the logs tell me? What do logs tell me? No, the AI was turned off at that point, Tyrope. I turned it off back there. There's no log files for whistles and stuff. Okay, on, I really don't care if people play me. I know it's not me. Condition 98%. Really? Oh, my loco's gone down to 99%. It's only taken four years. <laughs> right. Let's get this down there. I need to drop this um, gondola back off. No worries. In the old yard bit. Um, Leave my dude alone. If I back up from this, you can stick it in this little slide. Uh, Emma Loka, we're not scheduled to go to anywhere, so they're not going to be getting in.
Is that set to load? Nope. Yep, Bryson calling. He's supposed to get it changed. Right, so if I drop it here, it should refill again. Uh, you, you drop in the passenger car off as well. I wasn't. I don't know. I was going to drop the coal car off so it could refill. Okay. The PAX car is just with me. <laughs> <laughs> I just push it everywhere I go. Is it your friend? Yeah. Oh. I don't know. I don't know if I need it. Do you want it, isn't it? No, I was just wondering what we were doing with it. There's some um, contracts we already have that can go to tier two as well. Um. I could have changed them, but I didn't know whether you wanted them changed or not. Manufacturing one, we could even go tier three if you want. Might as well. Eat and go all, go tier three. More money for us, isn't it? Farm supply tier two. Gonna be a busy day. Whoa, I'm coming straight at you. I didn't know you was coming back. No, I'm turning, I'm turning, don't worry. You're good. I already had it set up. Okay, they're all maxed out now. Noise. Do you want me to decouple you? There we go. Yeah, exactly. We've done all our shunting before noon. Ridiculous. We're just. That's because we're speedy. Seriously quick, you might say. Yep. That's what we are. Seriously quick. Right, do you want to skip time or something? Do we yeah. need to dump logs? That's four hours, how's that? And have one log left on one. <laughs> Try that one. Still time. one left. We did that last time and then it ticked over. Yeah, that's on a four to one time scale, isn't it? I think we might need another loco though. Like even if we just leave one up at Bryson. I was thinking that when you said we could do with another one. Because at some point there's gonna be a bunch of things up at Bryson that need reassembling and bringing back down here. I don't know. There's just like one, like you guys are all down here and there's one locomotive going up between Bryson and Ella. Nothing else. But to get one, we'd need to get a loan, I think. We've only got 4K. Yeah. But it's been pointed out, if you get a loan and pay it back before the third day, you don't pay any interest on it. <laughs> Not too bad. Not too bad. So what do you think? Get a loco? Yeah, I say we get one and just keep it dedicated up there. Interest payment is due in four days and seven hours. There you go. Uh, stick with the G16. Are we upgrading yet? Can we upgrade? Um, no, that's 10,000 even with a discount. Yikes. Okay, we'll stick with the mogul then. Okay, so I'm going to purchase this. I've done that, and I'm going to tell you where it is. And then if you can't see it... You I can't see it. Okay. I'm just, I'll just disconnect and reconnect quickly. Hang on, no, 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 no. Don't. That's the point. Okay. We need log files, don't they? Do you want to log files? Oh, yeah, that's settings, PC... I forgot where it was located. Right, so this locomotive here, this number one, is a new one, and Sean can't see it. I assume Knight can't see it either. Can you see well, it? Well, it's on the map, but if I go to where it is on the map, it's in the middle of a mountain. 
Interesting. <laughs> what about you, Sean? I don't see it at all. Do you see it on the map? Yeah, in the middle of a mountain. Yeah, that's what I was saying, but I don't actually see the train itself. Okay, so if I save that, right, and then where's the save game update? Uh, local low, uh, giraffe, railroader, saved. Yeah, and just. And then the last file, which is that one. Where was it located again, Paul? Updates a local low. Yep. Giraffe Lab LLC, the name that you thought was funny. It is funny. And then oh, I've got Railroader saves. And it should be the last one that you just saw. So basically for for the non host, that locomotive is somewhere in a mountain. That's the problem. I've got a copy of that. I'll re-log. Yeah, you need to re-log night, otherwise you won't see it. Okay, okay. All, right, all the logs are gone now. Okay, I now see it. Thanks. How do you want me to save the file? Uh, just DM me if you can. On Discord? Yeah, yeah. I'll send it over after the stream. Uh, can't DM it to you somehow. Can you not transfer files? You should be able to. I'm dragging the file onto a chat with you and nothing's happening. So that's weird. Right, you moving the log train, night? He is, yes. Yeah. Uh, once that's the. Well, we we've done everything. There's nothing we can do apart from skip time. Uh, I've got these carriages to move to the interchange before six a.m. or midnight, I should say. Which carriages? Uh, if you press T and bring up the, whatever the list is called. Holy smoke, that's busy. <laughs> uh, where I had to shunt them all, they're in the really awkward place. Where are you going there? Is that you pups in front of me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go 
Fondle is still got coal. Oh. Hmm. Uh, do you have 10k in game cash? I well, we just took a loan. And now we have current loan five thousand, current balance three and a half. Why? And we just started the signal thing, which I paid seven and a half grand for. That's where our money went. You walk game. Yeah, yeah. I did that at the uh, end of last stream. CTC should appear tonight. There you go. Deliver four cars to Bryson Freight House. Bizarre that one. Just shunting casual four hundred tons of uh of timber. Dude, I just took six hundred and sixty seven tons up to Bryson and then split it off into like five different places. tons of dimensional lumber I love that interdimensional lumber would have been better <laughs> space time lumber do you want this flicking over uh, I will done. do yes done and but done I have to wait for you to because I need to go onto that track you're on I am almost complete it's all good there we go. I am now complete. These weeds are tall. <laughs> you never hated winter more than you do right now. Why? Switched. taking these just to the interchange uh, probably just stay on the track I'm on yep. you're on track two sounds good two more days it's almost like looking forward to it Baz the best bit is it's like only two more days but the temperature is going to stay exactly the same so it's not really any different Baz did you notice a badge next to your name it's 
It's minus four. It's not that cold here. It's three Celsius and drizzle. Blimey. It's two degrees for me and clear skies. Not for long, mate. I'm going to have clear skies all week and you're going to have snow. Yay. You like snow. It reminds you of Christmas. Your favorite <laughs> time of the year. Lovely. It's on there. Right, when do you want to skip? Uh, let me get off the uh, interchange first. It's going to fill up with carriages, isn't it? Actually, we might as well let night dock because when we skip, it will then speed the loading. Can you move your train forward? As in the way you're facing. Thank you. Fill up, with, fill up with water, I think. Are well, you controlling it? it from the outside? Oh, you must have one of these AI-powered trains, Paul. Oh, yeah, mine's AI. I've got, basically, my tender is AI-powered. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. It's like one of those mattresses. Have you seen those? The AI I can't powered believe thing. that when I saw the video on an AI powered mattress. Oh, game, no, I switched that switch. Hitboxes. I must go down to a tea. <laughs> right, let's uh, skip time. One, two, three, four. That's loaded quite a few logs. Is that... They are fully loaded. They are indeed. Uh, it's up to you. You can either drive it or set the IO, but it doesn't matter. All right, let's go to midnight. What do we get? We are now manufacturing tier three. Rep has changed by plus one percent. Woo woo! Oh, oh, oh. Waiting for all the carriages to spawn in. Well, you give it about three minutes, two minutes, sorry, and they'll disappear, apart from the gondola. That'll stay there. And then we'll have quite a bit to do, I think. But all of it won't all spawn here, I don't think, will it? Actually, it might. No idea. It's going to be a well, lot of stuff here. This is going to be interchange, isn't it? It may not be all of it. It may not fit it all. 
because yeah we'll see Six AM, get ready. I'm ready. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's thinking about it. <laughs> yep. It's like, do I, don't I, do I? The anticipate oh. there we go. Something just happened. Yep. That's uh, less than I thought we'd get. So you need the back five and the gondola and then i need the rest mate this can't all be tier three which i just yeah another appalachian hardwood bryson 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 stenzel you need all the green ones and i need the orange yellow ones Mm. Or we can switch. You can take the shorter route. <laughs> I don't mind. I'm just your fancy I, pole. I thought there'd be more. Gonna, yeah, I was Ella. confused. Is there anything at Ella? I remember some sidings are already partly full, so they won't send a new car for it. Ah, uh, that could be why. Some sidings are partly full. You know, we've already got sidings with stuff in at the. Warehouses and stuff. What do you mean? Uh, uh, At wait. the companies, we already have gondolas and stuff there, don't we? Like, at Hardwood, we already have carriages there. Farm, we already have carriages there. I think that's what he's saying. If you've already got stuff there, it won't spawn in new stuff. All this needs to be added to the hit list. Okay, I'll just do that. Right, Thanks, Paul. I've done it. Appreciate it. <laughs> that list is getting so big. Yeah, there's actually things here that need taken back. There's an empty here. Yeah, I tend to do that after I've took this lot up. Oh, my God, the camera. Right, what are you doing, Knight? Well, AI is bringing the logs back down, so I'm just waiting to see what the end result is. Because you've got do passengers you try, to do as well. Do you want to take the gondola and the new train up to where it's got to go with Paul? I don't mind, mate. I'll go anywhere. Just go to Bryce and see if there's anything up there that needs doing. Now they're on the list already. Okay. You could um you could take the passenger car. Yeah, do a passenger run. You could take tell you what, why don't you have this you have this loco. If I can get out of it. <laughs> That's one thing I hope they improve is getting in and out of the trains. Right, so I'll tell you what you can do. You take loco one, which has got the packs on the back of it. Um, and hook it up to this gondola as well. You could just put the gondola at the front is easier. Yeah, so just literally drive into this gondola. And then you can yeah. basically drive up. Um, and you'll need to... If you jump down to car one, train one, I'll show you what to do. I don't know if you've done it before. I'm looking at train one. That's train two. Train two, Paul. sorry, not, not one, two. Oh, yeah, I'm by train two. Okay, so control, click on two and select it so that you've got control of it. Yeah, I'm in control. Right, now if you control, click on the passenger car, um, what you need to do is say what this car is picking up. So if you click on Whittier and Ella and Bryson, all three of them, so that car... Yeah. When it stops, the passengers know to get on because they know where it's going. Okay. So um, after you've hooked the gondola, you can then stop at Whittier platform. 
Do you know what you know where the platform is? It's right outside yeah, the little station. It's the little building, yeah. Yeah, it's a bigger one down here, isn't it? Ella's a small. Uh, yes, Whittier, and then stop at Ella, and you'll have to give it time for the passengers to change, and then go up to Bryson. When you get to Bryson, you, what you can do is just detach the Pax car in front of the station, and then you can push the gondola behind the coal tower so that it unloads into the coal tower and the packs will get on and off. You can just leave it, they'll do their own thing. If that will make sense. Yep, if, that's fine. We're doing this, we're just having the one ca passenger carriage, do we? Um, I, I we can get alone and get another one if you want. I don't know, I just remember you saying there was over 100 last time, which is obviously more than we got. Space. Yeah, but I mean, we're making like... In day eight, we made no. Oh, it's like a hundred and twenty dollars or something stupid. I think we'd. It'd be foolish to spend money on passenger cars. I think we can make more out of freight. No problem. We literally do it for the rep, more or less. Right, I need to pull forward, don't I? And get behind them cars. I'll get onto the main line, I think. And then I'll go round the back of the interchange. Okay. And then you guys can just head out. So I'm pushing the gondola and pulling the uh, yeah. passengers. Yeah. Right, no, you're going to have to, when you hook that... Um, gondola up, you're going to have to wait for me to move mm -hmm. out your way. Absolutely. Because I need to reverse back into the siding that you're going to be next to, so just give me a minute. AI hey, was on his way down as well. Yeah, no worries. Uh, your locomotive needs to stop at coal and water before you head off night, I think. And what? I'm pretty certain it was low on water. Is it? Which whistle is that? Uh, that is... CP Step Top 5, China. <laughs> what a name! <laughs> what a name for a whistle! Uh, the one's waybill is set to repair, it doesn't look damaged. I've set its location, but unless I take it there, it won't do anything anyway. Could be a me thing, but number four, the log seems to have stopped. Uh, yeah, they will do. Don't worry about it. What do you mean stopped? Because the switch is wrong. Yeah, he won't go through because the switch isn't set for him. I'll grab him in a minute. Uh, I have to wait for you now. 
He's always holding up the production line, isn't he? I can go round you at um, when you stop at the packs. I can take the alternative line and go bypass you. But if only they put a little slip track here. Have you done water already? No, I went a bit too far. So I thought <laughs> I might as well get the call as I'm here. Nice and pups see the AI message in the console. I think they can see all of them, can't they? Uh, as in when it says the AI is stopped? Yeah. Yeah, it pops up. Well, obviously not at the junction because it doesn't do it at the junction. It's if I send the AI main line, that's fine. That won't interfere with our operation. Time you finish with water, I'll have him down the side of us. Spitting with water now. Like traffic jam here. What? Well, I'm behind you. <laughs> oh, are you? Yes. We're just I waiting for what for night to get some water. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I need to go this way as well. Can I just say, I didn't leave it with no water in it. I could have picked the water up at the other side, but the bit couldn't, I suppose. It's fine. I don't know if you had enough to get to Bryce normal, but... No, I mean, up around the corner, there's a water thing around the corner. Right. Oh, the, 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 it's on. One at all. It's, it's done now. Right, so I can just go, yeah? Yes, I've got the AI train. Good night to one month's referee. He's going to scare the living daylights out of some passengers and... Well, I've got manual control of the locking train. Knocked over the mainline switch for you, and I'll do the log switch when I go past it. Yeah, noise. I'm doing fine, thank you, Upton. Okay, switch is set. Thank you. Enjoy your journey, lads. Is this the milestone mission we're doing? Four cars to Bryson Freitas FR1. Yes. That's the front four. That should be fun. Have fun, lads. Have a safe journey. <laughs> I'll set the switch as I go past it so you can go to the other line. Thank you. Done. Top.
Passengers are loading. I'm just going to go and grab a drink a second. Okay. By the book. Ah, oh, can hear. Oh, the undercut. Undercut at the pits. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Knight's taken the uh, pink passenger car and the gondola of coal. I am on my way. You got all your new packs? I have 60 packs to Bryson and Ella. Ooh. may have left one or two behind yep but you know if they'd actually pay more money it'd be worth investing in another car wouldn't it it's a ruthless world isn't it economics 101 i think what we should do is be able to add another car just for first class passengers and they pay triple the price and then when they can't get a seat in the main car maybe they'll spend it on a first class seat That's how it works in the airline industry, isn't it? Like the first class tickets pay for the rest of the plane, basically. <laughs> yeah, we could get an observation car. Like, I don't know if we've got the numbers for it yet. Like, the investment of an observation car is still about 10 grand. And if you're only making, let's say, $200 a day out of packs, that's a lot of days before you get that money back. I don't know if you could, yeah, have a restaurant car. That'd be amazing. You could set the price of like coffee and stuff. Do you want like a mocha latte, caramel latte, a flappy cappuccino? As long as they do caramel lattes, I'm fine. Is it caramel or bust? Yeah. They don't offer caramel. Even Tesco offering it now in their coffee shops oh, it's only a bit of flavor i mean it shouldn't be hard for them it's just like they literally put the hand on the pump and go Bang! that's it <laughs> there's your caramel packs wrap is based on the number of stations you picked up at least one pack from yeah as I'm saying, so all we need to do is just go through one passenger run every day and we're fine. Even if there's like a 200 passengers at the platform that couldn't go anywhere, our reputation is not affected. Kind of like British Rail in a way. Special speed limits on each of that going down here. That there's a 30 bend. Yeah, I'm uh, at you're on right now, yeah. Um, I managed to sort of derail it by doing over 40 around <laughs> that area. It did quite a bit of damage, wouldn't recommend it. I'm doing 26 at the moment. Yeah, anytime it's about 35, you 
If you start hearing the wheels grinding, you should probably back off. This pup's got his rescue services set up, just in case. Lol. Let's have a look at this. Freight House FR1. Goody. I can't fit them in there because there's already cars in there, but they're empty. Yay. Shunting. Wait a minute. There's no way four cars are going to fit into that interchange. Look at the size of it. Well, just about. They've, they've actually extended that. It was only two before. So I've got to pull them out of there now. Have fun. Tell you, Bryson is admin, mate. <laughs> I don't mind doing the admin work. Right, we'll go down there, drop them off, and then come back and get them two out of there and pull them here, and then deliver them. We do have a massive yard. I mean, Bryson's not so bad because, like you say, you can put things in the uh, in the sidings. Let's play the passenger announcement. The next station. The next station is Umbrella Ella. Can make it rain just so that you can feel like you're at Ella. Okay. I think there was only two passengers for Ella, and they're off. There you go. <laughs> In the place. Have oh, you got your umbrella? <laughs> it suddenly started raining. That is Hunt Showdown Rain, isn't it? Look. I don't know what it's got. It's Hunt Showdown Rain or this. The white pixels. two passengers that's why well it's only four dollars thanks paul i can't help it the rain just changed into fog yes and now i can't see anything in the sidings that i'm shunting around thank you paul <laughs> i a, appreciate it's it it's a skill issue I it'd be good training because i can't see <laughs> <laughs> you're coming up to a 30 night uh, just these fair weather drivers oh yeah quickly checked the map when you said you can't see. I was like, uh, I'm pretty sure there's a 30 up there somewhere. Yeah, it's all right. I'm only doing 45. It's fine. Is this new bridge definitely stable? Yes.
Picking up a bit of speed here. You want to be using how fast you're going to give me an idea what I can do. Yeah, it, it, at some point after Ellie, you just start picking up speed. I'd say, like, anything between 30 and 35, you're generally okay. Unless it says specifically 30, but... Once you start hitting 40, I'd get worried. <laughs> uh, slip the auto. Thank you for 74 months. Time to have a shutter at Bryson. Do you mean shunter? Well, that's why we're kind of putting two locals in the area. So when I went down to get my uh, bottle of water, I was reading the news. Ronnie O'Sullivan doesn't have to pay a fine for his footwear. Yeah, because he's probably got a medical proof. Yes. That he's got a problem with his foot. It's like if one of them had hurt the wrist or something, you'd, you had like a band-aid on it. You know, they'd be like, oh, that's not part of the dress code. We're going to find hmm. you. But really? I want to see a snooker player playing with crutches after he's broken his leg. Now that, theory, there's no reason why they can't. Now that they can... Oh, you know them scooters you can get? That some people wear to rest their leg on and scoot around. Just scooting around the table. I've set you up to take you straight into the passenger platform. Thank you. And you can stop the detach the passenger box and then you have to set up and push over to behind the tower. Cha ching I don't need to worry about, right? Yeah, you'll be fine at 15. That's the other track, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think Dennis Taylor should have been allowed to wear those glasses. I think they were cheating. <laughs> they clearly gave an advantage. You won a world championship. Oh, that's amazing. Glasses. When you looked, it showed exactly where you had to hit the ball to get the right angle. Can you imagine augmented reality <laughs> glasses? Like literally helping you to take your shot.
Yep. There he is, pink passengers. I reckon that what well, that car over there I want to go back today. One right next to you. Okay. Well, Zero point six tons apparently. Yeah, so I'm saying I think it'll empty today. There might be some other stuff around here as well. <laughs> it was convenient, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't know what Pops is doing. Uh, shunting stuff around the sawmill. So there's two carriages up at Brighton where you are that need to come back to the interchange. Okay. Yeah, they're the ones I've just pulled onto a siding. There'll be a third one shortly. No worries. I'm taking care of all the list stuff that's down this side. Was that hundred and fifteen dollars in fares? So they paid yeah. nearly two dollars a ticket. I guess exchange 60 packs for 84 packs car might not be as much of an investment. Yeah, I don't know how much they are. Um, you have to move from there night, ideally. I'm going to come that way shortly. No problem.
My train will be coming through shortly. It's on its way. I am back into the little siding where I dropped the thing off, so you should be fine. I've switched the switch back as well. I'm going to go straight through. You're not accounting for driver skill, I keep saying. Yeah, that gondola is going to take a while to unlock. You might be able to... What you could do is do another patch run and take those two empties if you want. They need to go back to the interchange. Clearly beginners look, yeah, obviously. Right, inflation hardwood. R1 is that one. And that is still unloading as well. Lovely. I'm probably going to have to faff around and reverse these. I can't believe how long it takes them. If you take like um, an oil car or something, it takes them days to unload yep. it. They unload it with a cup. I don't think the game is real time of loading and unloading cargo, no. I don't know. I don't know. Could be simulating a guy who's got two broken legs, broken arm, you know. So the packs get off pretty slow.
just top that a bit early. How big's the hitbox on this? <laughs> Yeah, we'll get both in there. Oh, the one you said's ready to go as well. Which one? The oh, one yeah. that's next to the passenger. Grab that as well. Lovely. I'm gonna grab that as well then. Might as well. I have three empties and the passengers on the front. Three empties on the back and the passengers on the front. A train version of curling, you're not far wrong. Well, the other boxes down here, well, the other cars are going to take at least another day, I think. Oh, this one's nearly empty as well. 0.3 tons. I can grab this one. How can that still be on 49? That's not even. That's like literally used 0.9 of a ton. I miss your like a glove sound. It's a sound bite. Be sure that box car is empty and you're not filling. Which one? That one. I dropped it there full of coal. This one I dropped here full of stuff. Full of lumber. I did. Those two. That one that Knight just took. And the ones down there.
remember to um, tick the boxes on the passenger car. Yep. We have 60 passengers for Ella and Whitler. Nice. Thirty-two for one, twenty-eight for the other. This turntable turn table needs to make a noise when you move it. Tell me they don't have a WAV file. Nope. Disappointed. No. Silence dot WAV. Disappointed. So am I. I think we should uninstall just for that. Yep, me too. It's not even vinyl, this turntable. Oh, is that thing ready yet? 0.3. I disappear for five minutes. I'm just grabbing my tea. It's just about done. Literally, you've just eaten, haven't you? No, I just go and put it in the grill. I did ask my extensive household, but uh, yeah, I got time to do it myself. <laughs> Bearing in mind, I love this. Three of them are in the kitchen. Your family is amazing, like, then nobody does anything for anybody. Oh no, they do everything for everyone else, just not me. Like, they all had roast dinner and I had to make my own food. I don't... Why are you the one that's isolated in all this? I don't know. If I, if I knew, Paul, I'd be a millionaire. Would you? Yeah. Why? I could sell trade secrets. I could write a book on if anyone else is in my situation and sell it for a million pounds. Because it's short. I saw that comment and I wasn't paying any attention. <laughs> I thought he was my friend. Because you're special. Yeah. It's because I can say where well, 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 well. Gladiators, BBC Reboot rates in a whopping 6.4 million viewers for the first episode. I don't. Like, when I used that first came out, for the first few weeks, it was everybody was watching it, and then it just fizzled out. Like, nobody could be yeah. bothered anymore. I won't read the next headline to do with the new the reboot. Or does it say something like, Control or delete the reboot? No.
I don't like this headline. Arctic blast incoming. Britain faces 383 mile blizzard. I've been saying this to you. I know, but I've just saw like the weather images for it. Finally. I don't want that. I literally. I said it's going to be colder this week. Well, yeah. You're going to get snow because it's all coming down from the Arctic. Yeah, I know that. I meant I just saw the satellite images of it. You can't even blame Whiteland for this one. I can. <laughs> I blame Whiteland. I blame the polar bears. <laughs> yeah. As if polar bears. They've been oh, eating yeah. too much. Yeah, North, North America and Canada's really getting it. Well, the guy in, it, in chat last night, he said with the wind chill, it's minus 41 Celsius where I am. That's pretty no, nippy. He can keep it. It's only for a week and then it warms up. Yeah, heat wave after, isn't it? 26 degrees. Well, Baz will be all right. He's picked the right time to go away, hasn't he? It's Thailand. <laughs> yep. Right, I'm just going to grab my food out the grill. Okay. It's minus 42 in Calgary this morning before windshield. Before windshield. I, I have no concept of that temperature. I've never experienced it. I know what plus 40 feels like, and that's unpleasant. I take it you basically walk outside and things start to hurt. Is that how it is? Coldest I've ever experienced, I think, was in the uh, vodka ice bar in London. It was like minus 25, I think it was in there. And the hottest is about plus 48, 49. pinch it's when you breathe through your nose and your nostrils freeze shut uh -huh. it's like constantly being poked with needles on your skin yikes no 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 it was um emma it was a special ice bar basically you went into the normal bar but you had to book tickets to go through um you, you're taken through like an airlock door you're basically told to put some gloves on and then you go inside and it's minus 25 you can really feel it and everything has been carved out of ice so it's an ice bar it's a bar that's been carved out of ice with all kinds of display and they've got vodka everywhere and all this kind of thing it's all lit up with leds pretty cool but they keep it at minus 25 so it doesn't melt Never understood the Americans would use bells and no one else did. Special. It's a bit over the top, isn't it? Passenger drop 28, I think we got for that. We hope we get rid of winter altogether. I <laughs> don't think the penguins are like that.
two locomotives just doing nothing. One's at the log bay, one's back at the interchange. It just just pops, isn't it? It is, yeah. Just cannot get the staff. Well, now the is getting on. You could have easily set the AI doing something before you went. Oh, look, the log thing's empty. What a surprise. Happy place is plus 15 to plus 28. Oh, that's a bit warm for me. I like 19, 20. <laughs> Pops is AI, angry individual. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky he's not here, you get sheltered. Probably reading chat on his phone. Nah, you can't multitask like that. Right, so let's see. Milestones, cars are ordered, waiting for delivery. I thought we already delivered those. Pretty certain I dropped those off. Four cars. Actually, I only delivered two, didn't I? Must be two now, two later. It includes unloading. Okay. Right, please back. AI has returned. Yep. <coughs> I feel like I've missed something. No, not at all. Yes, what have you not been saying? You got some food, pups? Yes. What have you got? Home beef hash. Oh, nice. And that's why I asked for my mum to do some potatoes. <laughs> got any brown what sauce on there? I do have brown sauce, yes. There's another $80 for the packs for you. Nice, nice. $80 is... They're actually starting to pay a bit better, aren't they? 
I think that's because it was the furthest they've all come from. Um, yeah. Bryson. I feel like I've missed something. Well, yeah, we were just saying that your AI, because adorable individual, perfectly suits you. Because I believe that. On my way with three empties, pups. Where from? Bryson. Because I need to go up to Whittler and grab the empties. So. Unless you can grab them on the way through. I'm coming through um, with you now. Well, soon. Yeah, I'm, I'm just That's approaching. Not, sorry, I thought Paul still had the pink. Pink has me. How many empties need pulling at Whittier then? Uh, just one. The ACL. That's the SOU 47826. There's two, Knight. though, according to that list. Knight's got SOU in the CG. You need the LN 43878. Gotcha. If you do stalk by destination, I found it a lot easier to understand. Which line do you want them on? Um, go all the way back and then push him onto the line where there's the single carriage. I think it's based on a realistic one firefighter. Say that again. Where you are, you mean? Just go all the way back. And keep going the way I'm going now. Yeah, just keep going back. Well, that's forward for me, because I'm facing in that direction, you know. <laughs> well, Get it right, man. Go forward, then. <laughs> Thank you. Alicante's feet don't touch the floor when he's in his seat. Are you sure? Oh, so the AI was not an adorable individual, was it? It was an angry individual. Well, nobody said that. I can see. Oh man, you just, you know, adorable individual. You know that that was what was said last, so that applies more recently, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh. Oh, Discord's going again. If you spoke, then you cut off. Or maybe it's so just, just pups. drop them there and then you can get out of there. Wait a minute. It's just the front one you need. Yeah, but... I don't get it. It says it has 52 tons of machine... Oh, is that an output? Yeah, that's an output. Mm. Not used and to then that. The one in, then the one closest to the building is being unloaded. Mm. It just confused me because I was expecting to see it empty and it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> See that, Mickey? Uh, Trucker Bell, thank you, 34 months. Cryptics, thank you, 59.
a bit of a gradient on this. Right, I'll be coming down towards the interchange. Is anybody coming up? Nope. I'm on. I'm on the main line by the interchange. Okay, you heading this way? Uh, no, I'm at nowhere in particular at the moment. I will just come to a stop. Hey, Billy. track are we thinking track two um space on track two i've got three on there you're gonna have to go all the way back knight so paul can go there and then no, push him in it's you're fine i'm, I'm reversing him in nope it's fine oh okay It's free for your pups. What have you doing? Cut. It's coming in hot. And me, it is. Can't click it. Literally can't click it. I did click it, but yeah, it just didn't want to stop. Yeah, six six percent on that. It's fine. I like there's no there's no sound or click or visual clue that you've pressed it. So I like clicked it about three or four times, and eventually it went. If you control click a car, you can set the handbrake in the UI. Ah, oh, well, now we know, don't we? If only that was in the tutorial.
Have you got the remaining ones left, pups, then? Yeah. Because there's two up at Bryson. Uh, you got diesel, electric later. Well, I've got the... The Whitler ones. Yeah, apparently the coal one that I took up there is in a ray to come back. There's one, two, three up there in there that needs to come down. Yeah. I'm sending the log train back. Okay. Six up there, man. I need to get out of here. Are you on the main line? Um, I am. I'm clear of you. Yep, I'm gonna get off the main line. We need at the point where we're going to skip the day, do you think? There's some carriages that need to be brought down from all the way back at Bryson. Well, they must have only just become ready because I yep. just came from Bryson. Yeah. He okay. came home Friday, I think he said, and his dog was, his dog passed away, Paul. Yeah, but what happened? Was he ill or? Why are the cars at Bryson? I don't get it. I just, like, I was there, and I collected everything that was ready. They became ready once we got back down here. Well, we'll just get them tomorrow. We'll have to go up there anyway. Any other contracts we can upgrade? Everything is maxed out, as it were. Okay. Wait a minute. According to this, we've completed the enhanced the railroad to CTC signal. When? Well, you remember when those contract those things became empty? Then they became okay. empty, and it completed the contract because they were basically up up unloading. So that means, in theory, we can go into the control room. We can find, ooh, look at all those boxes of stuff brought us this amazing control panel. So how does this work then? <laughs> Bryson. Do you have to like press E to get in the seat or something? Mode ABS or CTC. Oh, God. CTC gives you all the switches. <laughs> so 
So that's manual control for me, I assume. Whittier hour. Zero cars block. I have no idea what this means right now. 54L, 56R. <laughs> They're obviously the different points, but what's this telling me? There's the six four. Oh, we're switching to the right. Oh, currently neutral. What does it do? I don't know. <laughs> Literally no clue what's going on. I'm going to put that back on AMS. So on, sorry, on ABS. So on ABS, the AI, AI is going to do something. Uh, that map just reloaded for me. You have two rows of controls. The top ones are the points themselves. N for normal, R for reverse. The bottom row is signals themselves. No, I put it back. Normal and reverse, right? And the lower row is the signal. L for westbound and mid for red. Middle for red, R for eastbound. Okay, so these are switches, these are signals. I kind of need to see what happens when I click these things to understand it. Below the switches is a button, oh God, that's used to send command to the box. So you have to press that to actually send it. Oh, interesting, okay. So you have to flick this and then send a command. <gasps> did something. It makes a weird noise when you press it. <laughs> Sounds like something's broken inside. Um, the uh, SQL 4, you need to flick the switch or can I do it? Is that something I can do from here? Um, to send it on its way? So there's Whittier. That's the diamond. So that one there, can I flick that switch somehow? Select switch 61 uh, to normal and send signal 62, which controls the switch, giving it reds in all directions. It's moving again. I didn't do anything. Well, the AI is moving. I didn't do anything. He is. He's moving. Um... I literally didn't touch it. Um, <laughs> um, I was reading the sentence. Well, uh, is the number the mile marker, by the way? So is that like 57? Is that on here? No. 56 is. What's that then? When I look at the map, how do I know where these represent on the map? The number corresponds to the number on your board above. Yeah, but this is like a logical diagram. Don't use the map. It's not on ABS, that's the point. I'll put it on ABS. I probably need to watch a video to understand that. What's ABS going to do for us? Is he going to automatically switch things? Oh, God. He's going to drive straight into me. Uh, also, we have a runaway train that doesn't want to stop. Which train? The uh, Squirrel 4 does not want to stop. Well, that's because it was on AI. It was it was driving... No, I've got control of it. I've just taken control of it. 
Okay, well, because for me, uh, none of the controls worked when I turned AI off. You literally only just flicked it to off. I saw you do it. No, I clicked it before you clicked it to manual. And then it wouldn't do anything, so I flicked it back to AI. Well, the whole thing was about to smash into me. Apparently right now I'm doing six and a half miles an hour and I'm not moving. You are? The game reckons I'm doing six miles an hour. Either you're desynced or you're not controlling the train you think you are. Well, my train's where I left it, so it's not my train. Yeah, that's it's not the train for me. I'm just moving forward into the log bay. They might be desynced due to the signal. Yeah, because I saw the map refresh, and I reckon oh, that I was didn't. due to the whole signaling thing. Yeah, I didn't see it refresh. Because the milestone. Well, I was looking. I saw it through the window when I was in the signal room. It suddenly refreshed. Oh, okay. The last time I saw it do that was when we got a milestone. I've just re-synced. Probably better if you do, yeah. I just left and rejoined. Probably better if you do the same night, to be honest. To be sure. Uh, yeah, the first day. It's all okay now. Right, try number one. Right, so you guys, are we just going to skip or what? Yeah. Yep. I'm on one part of the main line, so I'm not in anyone's way. Uh, payment was all that. Oh, rep went up 1%. Woo! Be a good it. passenger service. Logs are not even empty yet. How can it still have a log on it? It's been there for like loads of hours. Seriously, can't we just push the log off though? Nope. <laughs> Because I reckon if we did that, the lake would flood. Probably right, yeah. It's 100% full, apparently. Right, they're all gone. Right, reversing the log track truck a train onto the uh, main line the train turned into a truck it did truck on a track which is a train mm, very nice very nice that's what we got down there sawmill bryson Ooh, that's awkward, isn't it? Ella House, where's that going? Oh, is that the manufacturing place? Oh, 
Mm. And the house CR1. And the house CR1. I think that's the manufacturing place. It's 2.9 miles away. Then Appalachian Hardwood is the furthest one. Standard. Bryce, Bryson's five, so it's closer than Bryson. Standard Oil will have an empty there already that will need swapping. I know that much. So basically, I need all the orange ones, and you and I need all the green ones again. Well, right at the back, there's a couple of, I think they're Whitfield ones. Whitfield. Yeah, they're down at Ella House, the two at the back. They're in that little silly siding. I see Ella siding on the main line. Yep. The little shuffle. Don't tell me you've not moved, you scumbag. Right, so if night, if you take the, the ones that need to go to... Actually, no, that's not going to work, so I need to take an empty one out of there. Um... Okay, so the AI doesn't release handbrakes on cars. Hmm. I mean, I could head up like I am, do a passenger run up, collect the empties that are at the top, and then start bringing them back if you yeah, do one as caught as that. Yeah, if you grab the empties from all the way at the top... There's a, there's a few empties around up there. Yeah, Knight's going to do a passenger run up there and grab them. And then I need to do some magic here for you, Paul, to be able to get in and grab the ones you need. going so slowly. What's the problem? Looks like it sure ain't another handbrake on. Oh my god. Uh, who's on the main line? No. Hey. Am I in the way? Well, no, I did say that the AI is coming onto the main line. One sec. No, I can go back. I can stop and go out the way. Okay, off you go. I don't know if I'll encounter red signals. No clue. I don't know what that ABS thing's doing for us, quite honestly. Sometimes more complicated than us just flying over the map and changing the points we need. Yeah, but it's a big map. Imagine when we've got the whole map to access. <laughs> we'll be in trouble at that point. Oh, you flicked it already. Right, that should send the log car on its way. Yeah, so having this CTC on ABS mode, what exactly does it do for us?
Astonishing power. Right Duggan. If you see Pete Whistle, you can see the signals. Thank you, Tom. Oh my god, it has got signals there now. Can I just ignore the signals? Because <laughs> I'm going to be doing a load of sh shunting around there, and if that's... Do we get minus points if I ignore signals? Because I'm going to have to ignore them. I'm... No clue, mate. Absolutely no clue what that means for us. Right, uh, I'm going to get around the back of that lot now, don't I? Uh, it depends how you want to take them. You want to push them or you want to pull them? Usually, pushing is the way. Okay. You need to switch over to the main line. And I'm just getting the rest of these out of the way so you can get in. Both signals down means danger. Normally, if you're within the confines of a station or yard, shunting can be done independently. Okay. Are the signals going to tell us that somebody's on the single track? Like, from Whittier to Ella, if somebody's on that line, are the signals going to... I think if they're down, is it basically saying somebody's on that line? Is it explained in the book anyway? Multiplayer. Yeah, I'm just trying to understand how the game works, Crisps. So I need these ones off the back, don't I? Yeah, I'm just going to grab the front one so you can just go straight forward. Green signal. Yeah, and as I pass the signal, it's gone to red. Hmm. Your dispatch, please. Okay. If you give me a second, Paul, I'll pull these forward and into the side, and you can just go straight for for if you want. It's up to you. I just need to go that way. So either reverse and then go or. Yeah, just give me a second, I'll refer these into the other side. And... It's going to take you just as long to reverse into that siding, isn't it? Oh, is it, are you right. going to the actual siding that you're going to drop in? No, I need to go to the siding next because I need to bring some old ones down to get new ones in. Well, do you want to just crack on and I'll reverse these out? Okay. Right? The 
So when you went through Whittier, it changed you to a red, did it? Yeah, so, um, am I? Oh, yeah, yeah, so after, so when I came out of Whittier yeah. and got onto the single track, the, the signal was green, and as I went through it, it went to red, to the single line. So it's telling you that there's somebody on the line ahead of you. So I've got a green signal ahead of me now. But mine's gone to red, so yours in theory should go to green in a second. No, it's gone yellow. Yeah, I'll be right, because then the one the signal ahead of it is on red. So it would be yellow. So there must be a block at that mile marker. So each block must be a mile, I guess. So when you get to Ella, that'll go to green. Why is this one red then? That's for coming the other way, I assume. Yeah, because yeah, the um, points are wrong. So at the moment, it's a red because the points are for the other track. Hmm. Weird way of doing it when that's a merged track, but okay. Uh, Mr. Referick, thank you for the bits and the recommendation of UK London based gift shops. I have no clue. I don't buy anybody gifts, so I have no clue. <laughs> no, I don't know. No, I don't actually have any passengers for Ella, so should I just continue straight past? You don't? No, it didn't pick up any. I don't want to get on. Yeah, but I got a full, I got a full carriage, all wanting to go to Bryson. So I'm hoping that stuff from Bryson, I'll have some for Ella, so that I can make sure I service Ella on the way back. Interesting. Yep. Both the greens proceed to trains to fly. Oh, really? So I'm, now, I'm now going through another signal, so that signal that was amber should now be green. No, that's true. The only race condition is when they both arrive at the same time, isn't it? Has the switch just cleared down? It seems less than when it was last time. I don't know, I'll be there when I get there. I mean, mine was empty until I realised it put me in the wrong crew. <laughs> the answer to your question is yes, because it was in a new carriage. Got it. There we go. Okay. All right, get pups, down. calm down. Calm down, pups, calm down. <laughs> How's it look now? Too big. Can you go back to what it was before? Um. So what that's saying. So the top one is the main line, I assume. That's saying green ahead. And the siding is red because it's switched away from it. There you go. It's now gone to red. Now green as well. 
Okay. That's empty. One of those tankers is empty. Is that on the switch list? Yes, it is. Yeah, I'm on my way to get them. Okay. So I can get the new ones in there. Yeah, there's already one at the back with 7,000 gallons, yep. so... In theory, then, you could have somebody in the multiplayer who's just doing signalman. Yep, and that's yeah. what they say they do. First problem is he has to understand that signal board, because I don't. <laughs> Might as well be Morse code. Given that Ella to Whistler is two blocks on the JIT, do not know if they will probably guard two-way traffic, or if you'll just meet at the red in the middle. Uh, mm. In theory, when you go through a signal, it should book the, f the next two blocks, effectively. But yeah, you'd have to test it. Put one train at each end, one drives over and see what happens over here. Well, yeah, but a yellow means proceed with caution, so it's still going to let you go, and then you've got two trains on the same line. That shouldn't happen. My signal's on green. Knight's not in LR, he's way up towards Bryson. Yeah, the signals going back the other way from me are green. Uh, one mile, two mile, yeah, there would be. There's basically three blocks between me and you. In theory, is it if they're saying that if you're on the single track and I'm on the single track, it doesn't matter how many blocks there are, it should be red going in the opposite direction. Yeah. Because there's no passing point to pass the other exactly. track. But between me and you, we've got Governor Island, so we have got. Although I think I've got an amber light ahead of me. God Island is a passive loop, isn't it? Yeah. So in, in theory, I should be able to go all the way up to that passing loop, and you can still come this way. I work out why mine is amber. So next signal's amber as well. Green signal, so I know the point set correctly. Noise. If night has amber, then the Bryson track isn't fully limit lined fully to the main. There's no way you should have Amber if he's past the passing loop. I had an Amber and I moved up further up to look at the new section and everything, and that was on Amber as well, which said that didn't make any sense. I should have had a green. Apart from the fact you got the loop coming in from Walker, but unless it sees that as part of the issue. 
I'm arriving in Bryson. I've got three signals. And the bottom one's on amber. The points are set to go straight on. Why would you have amber? That's what I mean, it doesn't it doesn't make much sense. You're the only local in town. <laughs> Now I'm going to drop off the passenger cart train here and then try and pick up all the empties. A signal coming up. It's green. Gonna have a look at this passing loop. Okay. So it's basically saying I can go into the passing loop. It's on amber, so this block here detects the presence of a train coming. So if that was green, it's saying there's nothing around. If that's yellow, it's saying somebody's coming this way towards this passing loop. In the next block. So when I enter the passing loop on that side here, what is that going to do? Wait, that's for straight. Doesn't make any sense. That's now red. If I throw that switch, that's to yellow. So I can't go straight on, but I can go that way is what it's saying. But it is yellow. Meanwhile, that, mo that one there is now showing red here. But green here. I'm saying I shouldn't go through. <laughs> yeah, because the switch, it's. It's it's too safe. Like, you could still safely have gone onto the passing loop, but it's kind of saying, no, you can't, because the switch is set wrong. I did know the line ahead was clear because I could see on the map. Uh, this is yellow now. Interesting. That's yellow, which means somebody is in Bryson. It's definitely not me. I'm miles away. I'm in Bryson. Bryson team VR1. Where on earth is that going? Bison Depot be all one. Oh, there, okay.
Yeah, it can also mean you should go slow. I have to go back because there's a PAX car blocking my path. All right. got paid for something. Where are you, Knight? Up the bit further up, affecting the ones from up here. Okay, fair enough. And then there's, a, like, there's about four. That's fine. Where just, you were. I'm just doing movements around the yard here, so I just wonder where you've gone. Uh, why not control left click on the cards and then press follow? Oh, yeah, I forgot you could do a follow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call. Now I can do uh, proper fly shunting to work out where they're going. He's going there, okay. He's going down there. Hmm. I have to leave this one here and shunt it around later.
How are you getting on, pups? Uh, still shunting carriages around. We we'll had to go and collect some before I can push the new ones in. Okay, I'm on my way back to Bryson now. Um, okay. You got the, f I think, four looking at where you're looking now to the far right hand side, on the right hand side. There's four sidings that are empty, yeah. Uh, I'm about to go down one of them. Can. Your, your PAX line is, with the PAX thing on, it's fine. And then your next one's clear. The next one's got something on it. Depends what you're trying to do. I'm assuming picking up your packs again. Or you're doing some yeah. Shunting. Well, on the you know, as you look at yours now, looking at your stream, you got the building on the right hand side with four. Mm -hmm. There, they're all got. They've all got to go back. Okay. So I can either come and collect those and then get the passengers and go, or I can leave you to collect those and I can just take the passengers and go. Uh. Well, I've got to drop off these three and then i've got to come back and move that one around the yard so maybe if you grab your packs and those four and then leave and i'll do the rest you yeah. yeah, i need to get in you want to keep left when you come into the yard so that you can get over to the sidings I'm going to move over into track two, so you can come in on track three. That'll get you to your siding easily. Unless you want to grab your packs first, it's up to you. Yeah, so I'm going to be coming in on line three. Yep, I'll be on two. Uh, starting to get there, Andy, lad, yeah. <laughs> it's just down the road, isn't it? Yeah, that's where these have just come from. Your. Yeah, there's already one there as well. That's annoying. I'm going to have to swap those because this is on 8,000. That's on 3,000 gallons. My job just got even more annoying.
Time to come back and swap these over in a second, I think. I'm not sure that I'm going to Ella because I only picked Ella to begin with. Fair enough. <laughs> Looks like they're all going to Ella. Yeah, it's Kevin. I mean, it's a bit rough around the edges, but if you enjoy what you see, then it seems pretty stable. Oh, I'm going to have to swap that as well. Very annoying. I feel like the game has been deliberately designed to generate stuff to make you do the oh, most boy. shunting possible. I'm having the same problem back down this then. You need that to keep rolling right now. <laughs> I kind of assume there was a little bit of a gradient. It's hard playing solo. Yeah, yeah. There's too much to do. The game doesn't scale up with you. I give that a little nudge. <laughs> right, I'm on my way up to Ella. Okay. I don't know where anyone is. I haven't really been paying attention. I am just picking up the packs and then I'll be heading towards Ella as well. But it no should be fun. You got signals now, you can coordinate. What's the hitbox like on this game? I can't believe that stopped there, that's just scumbaggery. <laughs> I've got seven MTs coming. Nice. I'm still taking new stuff to the places. Extreme glover, I would suggest. Like a glove.
Yeah, I don't know how you could play this game single player, to be honest. I don't think there's enough AI assistance for you to do it properly. You just get overwhelming. You can have the green signal. train any day <laughs> that's the opposite of Chris's view I'm on the single piece of truck up to Allo. Roger. Well, I'm up in uh, the deeper part of Bryson, shunting around. Roger. What a faff this has been. I feel your pain. It's basically the train of equivalents of stock rotation, like what you do in a supermarket when you get some new item with a, a best before date and you put it at the back and you have to bring all the old stuff forward so they buy that. It's literally that. Yeah.
process is known as facing. What, in the supermarket? Gonna faff for this one now. Hmm. Oh, yeah, in pierce. You drop it off and let the shunter deal with it. So. That's what facing is, is when you pull and stop to the front of the shell. Stop rotation, yeah, first in, first out. So you put the new stuff at the back. Even though know everyone knew, when one's you to buy stuff, you go to the back. Yep. yep. That's exactly what I do. Tesco, it's called Rumble. Rumble? Rumble was the process of decarding the shells, uh, facing it up, and stop rotation all the time. And in some stores, I used to play over the tannoy, let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> so that you knew that that's what you had to do. Oh my god. If you're in a Tesco store and let's get ready to rumble comes over the tannoy, you know what's about to happen. A bit of ant and deck. You'll see cages appear down sh down aisles and people just looking bored out of their brains. I'm glad I don't have to do that anymore. Folks, I'm not far from the 30 bends just before ever. No worries. Obviously, I need to stop at the packs. You don't ever have to interchange maximum. Mm. Thanks, DJ.
you're good to go down for the night. Yeah. No, I've got to stop. There's a red signal ahead. <laughs> Have we actually tested the theory of what happens if you go for a red signal? Because I, I want to go just the other side of the red signal. Yeah, just nothing happens. I've already done it. Oh, that's cool. And so I can go and stop and pick my pack and drop the packs off. Yeah. Like 12 carriages down, and I've still got three to go. A bit sad, aren't you? Good point. And I had to like move the same carriage out the way four times. Maybe you wasn't very efficient, pups. Well, it doesn't help that the siding is only two lanes down the other end. To fill out the spad paperwork, well, <laughs> send me over. No, I've just gone for the red signal. <laughs> but I rang the, the dude up and he said it was fine. I got special permission. That's, yeah, that's, you, gave that's you a permit. thing, isn't it? You can ring up in one of the train games we played. Yeah, you click the button. That's it, I click the button. Pass it, uh, what was it like? Pass it, danger. Pass with caution. No, it wasn't. Request, request past danger signal or something like that. All right, well, 58 are getting off, and I've got 42 waiting, so we should be okay then. Where does that have to go again? Okay. What's a new game until they go Beer Factory? Is that the one that is on Steam that Durka should play? Seven dollar. A poll. Yeah. Uh, you know pre-release snooker tickets. So I've got snooker. Guess how how fast they sold out. Are you on about Ali Pali next year? Yeah, yeah. Guess how fast they sold out. The right. first wave. Well, so they went on sale for pre-release yesterday. And then this morning at 10 a.m., the general public got to sell, got to buy them. So which do you mean? Uh, Pre-general pre public. Oh, so in pre-release, they sold out completely. In six minutes. Holy smoke. Six well, minutes? Well, six I can minutes. Say, I hope you got a front row seats again, because uh, sitting <laughs> further back was painful. Yes, I did. Oh yeah, and you were like six foot something, night. Yeah. It, How it, did you survive? Luckily, by pure luck, this this the sold out venue wasn't actually fully sold out. The seat next to us wasn't in use, so I was able to turn. Well, somebody might have been ill, maybe. Yeah. So um, I was able to move my feet to the side every so often, but I was having to move my feet around all the time to keep company. <laughs> Mate, you need to be six foot three like me and go to the crucible. Uh, and that is, that is pain. 
Even in the front row, that is pain. It is worse than the Ali Pali. Which is why this year for the Ali Pali, we're like, if we don't get front row, we ain't going. I mean, I needed the leg room. That's all I'm going to say. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I, sure. I needed that leg room. You, you could have lay down got... on your seat and your feet wouldn't have touched the person in front of you. I was going to say, a five-year-old's got longer legs than you. No, I needed the leg room. What? <laughs> Tom, why don't you <laughs> shut your face? I say, shut your mouth and everyone thinks I'm raging. <laughs> Time check before we get blamed. <laughs> no, he already had a time check at 10 to 8. So don't give me that, because I already said thank you very much. Well, this was someone else. It's 10.48 in the game. Have we got all the stuff we need to do? Nope. Jeez, man. Loads left. Oh, we've done everything. Well, nope. All the ones that are at the bottom are the ones that I've got. And then there's three that the interchange that I need to do, but we probably don't have time because I need to go quite far. What's that down at? Um, there's the three at the interchange, yeah. One's an oil, one's a... And then the other two are just normal. All right, logs are ready, so I'm going to send him on his way. No worries. I'm going to pull my train off the main line and park it up. Most of it's local to Whitty. Still gonna take a good 20, yep. 20 Well, I'm at minutes. least a 10 minute drive from Whittier at least. Yeah. It's moving down here then. At the original sidings, Paul. At the interchange. Oh, they only bring it up here, do they? Yeah. I've just delivered a load to, to oh, LL. From Whittier to the interchange, and then there's three from the interchange up here. Yeah. Well, th those bunch of cars that need to go to the interchange, is that what you've Night got? Night the ones at the bottom. Mm. Seven of them, yeah, I've got them all. Cool. So I've just got to drop 25 passengers off, and then I can drop them off. So what I shouldn't I shouldn't be long. Yeah, I think... Because my train's in a safe place. I've just parked mine up. You will let uh, Knight get down there. And then that's that done. 
you set the points for me, Pops, all the way to whichever side are you which part is seven and six, seven, seven and yeah. Are you pushing or pulling them? I'm pulling, pushing the packs, pulling the uh, empties. Nice. Lol, Paul. <laughs> I'm on the front of his train. <laughs> I happened to look at the stream exactly the point where you were jumping. Yep. I didn't know what was going to happen. I was thinking either I'll fly right through this thing or I'll end up just stood there. Are we, are we packs dropping here? Yeah. Whoa, that's an early break. Yeah, the breaks had a lot more impact than I was expecting. <laughs> Just that was my wake up call for the passengers. <laughs> yeah, your stop is arriving. Yeah, I hit the brakes. They all go flying to the front of the carriage and it's quick, quick exit. All the drinks are all over with the next person. Oh, it's all right. They probably had bottled water. We didn't make them bring cups of water. Twenty-three and twenty-four to go back. Blimey! This train terminates here. Mind the gap. <laughs> it's quite a substantial gap as well. <laughs> I had to jump over the gravel. I'm definitely not bitter about the Ali Pali not selling me a bottle of water now. And I think I've got the email where I can write a review, so I'll be giving them some feedback. Loved the mots. Really enjoyed the non-bottled water. The, the knee room was good. However, the shoulder massage was an additional bonus I wasn't expecting. Thanks to the lady in pink behind me. Oh, don't forget about making your way to get your food pod, so I wanted you to go back into the main hall. Or the little arguments I had with the guy at the table. <laughs> that still <laughs> makes me chuckle every time I think about it. <laughs> yeah, the brakes are on long because it's not moving. So some of the other pilots, Nuka Hanets, uh, didn't see you. I was there on Wednesday, day, front row, right in the bulk area. The cameraman was pointing at us right at the start of the session, both sessions. So you should definitely have sold it. Yeah, you were on the very beginning. Yeah. Playing Alex Higgins and Milkins. Uh, yeah, Milky, Milkman, and then we watched um, Mark Selby. Selby and Mark Allen. John Higgins, Alex Higgins, same. <laughs> I'm saying nothing. Alex Higgins is not dead. He's alive in our memories. Exactly. You set all these points, yeah? Because I'm going on to the main line. Yeah. Cool. Just checking. Why are you putting him on the main line? Because he needs to push him in. Uh, Otherwise, he's going to get stuck in the middle. Uh, 
Well, you know, when he levels up a bit, what he could have done was come down this line here, detached from his consist, hunger left, and let the consist roll straight in. But a fly Which shunting would have solved all that. Which would have been shortly followed by a massive crash. Yeah, I said when you leveled up a bit. In the carriage. We got a stir away. Yeah. There you go. I've now opened the doors. You can sprint from one end of the carriage to the other. Ah, oh, sweet air conditioning now. <laughs> Who's that, though, well, right? Dodgy looking know. bloke. Trainer. With a tea towel on his head. Off. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, you stop, stop. now. How fast you going? 11 at the moment. I'm going up against something I can see. Yeah, I've released the brake on it, so you could just push it. Slam on your brake. Why? Oh, is he he's not that? attached anymore. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to set the brake on because if you don't, it's going to slam into that one. I've got brakes on the others. There you go. Just like that, they're all delivered. Lovely jubbly. All right, what's the finance situation here? I've just paid off the loan, so we've got rid of the loan again. Nice. So we're back up to 4,700, but that's with the bridge extension and the CTC thing. And we have four locomotives now. So we got given one and a half and we upgraded one. I mean, we have four fully working locos. And we have level, well, tier three and a few things. I don't seem to be able to upgrade anything at the moment. Yesterday's report, we made 2,800 on freight. Uh, hang on, what's the AI train doing? I sent him on his way down here. I bet he's stuck. There he is. Yep, he's stuck. Um... Yeah, you, you've got time options under settings. You can play at one-to-one, two-to-one, etc. You can skip an hour. You can sleep overnight. It's up to you. AI trains coming down track two. Nice. Check the second point. Which one? This one. this one
Yeah, so one is great for a mid-sized single-player session. Yeah, I think the the more you have to do and the more players you have, the more you're gonna have to slow time down. I think at the start you can get away with even eight to one, but you're gonna have to gradually start bringing it back. Like we can get most of our stuff done before midday at what four to one, so we can probably get away with easily six. Depends what pace you want to play at. But once you've run out of stuff to do for the day, there's not a lot you can do unless you just want to do packs up and down all day. Good night, mechanic. It's also why the interchange is served at, no, it's served at 6 a.m., isn't it? The interchange? Yes, so all the new carriages load in at six. Yeah. Oh, you can change it. Interesting. Interchange served at... Oh, right, okay. You can do it at four. Or five. It depends, like six you've got daylight. Five it's still a bit dark. But you can do it. You can't build your own track now. Right peeps, I think we're done here. I'm just quickly topping this one up. Yeah. But you can do that again tomorrow next time. Yeah, you can just park it under there and top it up, it's fine. Lovely. That's Thank you for joining it, me. Game over, man. Thank you. Game over. Thank you. Thanks, Captain Flint. Put the packs in the shed to get it fixed. How bad is it? Oh, the packs. Um, no, it's on 96%. It's fine. They're all fine. They're all in the high 90s. Right, peeps, thank you for uh, watching. Hope you had fun. Celebratory bunting. Bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Bye. <laughs> you got to love text to speech. The emphasis is on points. <laughs> bye. I enjoyed that. <laughs> <laughs> right, peeps, I shall be back uh, next weekend. I'll be all of a great week ahead. What are you doing? It sounds like Alex. It really does. Bye. <laughs> Lovely. Thanks for your support. Thanks for watching. Thanks to the mods. I shall see you all in a few days' time. Have a great week. Enjoy your birthday, Neil's, tomorrow. Take it easy. Love you all. Good night. <laughs>